Jay here for Stratford Paddock. This is the Bournemouth Watch Along. Joining me are two absolute titans of the Manchester United fan base. I've got Mr. Adam McCola. What's going on, son? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right, man. How, How are you? you? It's good to be back. It's good to see you back, man. I feel yeah. like, even though I was on with you like last week, I feel yeah. like I've not seen you for ages. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's man. It's been too long. It's been emotional. It has been. Do you know what I mean? Same old, same old with Manchester United as well, isn't it? And also, Mr. Andy Tate, how are we doing? Feels like old school, it's a bit old school vibes. You yeah, see. yeah, yeah, old school, even got me 2004 shirt. Still fits me, 20 years on. 04 or 5, that, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I got that with Ronaldo on the back. Ah, uh, yeah. I hate that picture that everyone shows, right? Of not the black one. Of Keane, of Ronnie. Oh, from the 05 Cup final. Yeah. Millennium Stadium. And they're like, look at these, this team. These were the days. Yeah, and I'm like, Do you mean that line like, up in the yeah. wall? That, yeah. All it reminds me of is losing that final yeah, to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like, Van Esteroy two yards out, we six minutes to go in extra time. Missed his the point, most one sided nil nil. Honestly, oh my God. Wayne oh Rooney, one step, bang, Seriously. post, yeah. bounce back out. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we deserve to do them that day. That did my head in. Why is golf on the telly? Yeah, we'll sort that out. Uh, sort before that we get into getting the golf off the telly, because no one cares about that, we'll get into some team news. Before that, though, make sure you are hitting like, share, and subscribe to the channel. want to get to 750,000 subscribers, and we're almost there. Uh, right, the Manchester United team, you can see it on your screen there. You've got Andre Onana in goal. You've got, we've got wan at left back, which is where I think he will play. Harry Maguire, uh, Willie Cambuala, Diogo Delo, uh, midfield three of Kobe Mainu, Casemiro, and Bruno Fernandes, and then a front three of Rashford, Hoyland, and Garnacho, which means, for anyone who cares, I got my predicted 11 spot on. Uh, on the bench, you've got Bayern there. You've got Harry Amas. Uh, Ogune oh, how do you pronounce that one, Maka? Ogune. Thank you. Ericsson, Mount, Forson, Amrabat, Wheatley, Ahmad Diallo. Diallo. Say Ahmad Diallo. Ahmed Diallo, kid. No, don't do <laughs> don't, it. Just do don't, it in your normal do, voice. Don't Ahmed do Diallo. a parody of yeah, Ahmed Diallo. Do Ahmad Diallo. Ahmed Diallo. I like it. It's a good name to pronounce <laughs> when you've got a Mancunian accent. Come on, Ipswich. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. We like, we like it, Switch, don't we? Yeah. Um, then, well, well, no, mind you, like against Mickey Carrick. Yeah, so. Ooh, hey, one hey, hey, Leeds are getting beat. Ooh. Ooh. No, Leeds lost. Got me. Leeds oh, lost me. Leeds they are in the again. That's United team. I posted that video before of that Leeds fan losing. Any excuse. Another one. Fuck yeah. He's missing like closing in the laptop so good um, Maka what do you make of that team uh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks Maka uh, Andy what do you mean <laughs> oh, come on Messi go back to Andy uh, go back to Maka go on what do you reckon I will talk about the Bournemouth team in a minute can't really complain can you we've got so many injuries man. but you've got to feel for the manager when our left back is the right back our left centre back is Harry Maguire Willy Kambuala who has done okay when he's had to step in but He's not ready yet. Ideally, he wouldn't be playing yet. No. Right. Yep. And then Diogo Delo is arguably one of our best players this season, but it's a shoddy back line, isn't it? It's, 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 a, it's, it's our, arguably our best front three this season, and it's a semblance of a decent midfield. Although well, Casemiro <laughs> and Bruno... <laughs> a semblance of a Casemiro decent Casemiro and Bruno like to give Mano a lot of work to do. They do. Do you oh, know what? Oh, it wasn't 1 0 to sit. I thought it was still 1 0 to sit, and I just seen um, hey. Ross Barker had scored, but it's 3 0. Do you know what, though? But do you know what I mean? Like, they give him a lot of work to do, don't they? On paper, you look at that midfield and you think, yeah, that works. Casemiro, Mainu, Fernandez. But when you watch the games, Kobe Mainu is. I like Mason left to Martin, his I own see Mason devices. Mar somehow in this team. No, I do. Um, if you were to be kind, though, Andy, you could say, look. You've got an England international there at the heart of your defence. I'm trying to be kind here, so just leave me a minute. You've got arguably one of the best right backs in the country at the minute. <laughs> you've got. Um, I beg on that. <laughs> you've got a goalkeeper who's been bang on form. You've got one of the best young players in Europe in Willy Cambuala. Yeah, in your defence. Yeah. You've got um, a front three of a player who. Um, not that long ago, went through a proper purple <laughs> patch. You've got Alejandro Ganacho, one of the best young players in the world. And don't you've got Marcus Rashford. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? That team. If I'm being brutally honest, like, looking at that team, there's quite a lot of good players in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know why on I'm paper, defending it like this, but it is. Now, there's a lot of good players yeah, on that you screen. Defend better than on that, that screen, <laughs> on that screen, there's a lot of good players. <laughs> you you see me play, you know that's not true. <laughs> we ain't playing FIFA, mate. No, we I'm ain't playing FIFA, we have to. Yeah, yeah. It's a mismatch. It's a bit patched up, and yeah. um, it's just to get the job done today. 
Well, I'll say... He, he hasn't got... Cool. Like, it's not like he's left Lissandro Martinez and Rafael Varane and Luke Shaw out. Remember when we, like, there's a reason why these guys are playing. Johnny remember, Evans is fit, he plays. Do you remember when we had, like, a bench of, like, Pogba, Martial, did it, all the rest of it, and everyone's going, look at that bench. And, choice. He, and then you looked at the, 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 the team, and it was like... Yeah, <laughs> it was just... And McTominay and... Yeah. McTominay and Sorry, Daniel James. Front. Yeah, it was like, hang on a minute. Um, that's a decent team. There's options from the bench there. I, I always worry about the fact we haven't got a striker, striker on the bench. That's my, my concern, because I do think you, you want a nine on the bench, don't you? And we haven't got one. Mm. Like we got, Ahmad can play down the middle. He's not really a striker. Obviously, it's Mount's nice an He's got actually been in good form. Forcing again can I know it's weird. Striker, but but I know that like, he's on his way he's out. He's inexperienced. But Go on. Is Martial available? Is he fit, though? He was back in training, money, but I think that ship sailed. Yeah, I mean, when you've lost McCullough, uh, no, I just don't think the manager's going to. He hasn't up. lost me. Let's no, put, no. When you've let's given not up, put things like that out there, right? When you've given Fucking up, now, LJ. you've give, basically you're saying you don't like Marshall I'm anymore. Putting things in my you mouth. You said you never liked words. him. It was all a con, and you had a touch in the phone that time Fuck. for a, for a laugh. You didn't never it's had because faith. it's because you never had faith. It never happened. Never had faith in you're him. You said the miracle of thirty. Is it the miracle of thirty? No, is it Alf? This is like having a you know conversation. You have to believe the miracle of Forty Second Street. It flies. Oh my God, you're worse than him. Right, the starters. Street. There is no miracle of Forty Second Street because it's the Thirty Fourth Street. <laughs> <laughs> for starters, in that club in town. Forty Second Street was yeah, we yeah. back in the nineties. The miracle of Forty Second Street. Forty Second Street was a club in town. You get in there it? when you're over eighteen years old. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you don't believe so. The, we the be I believed. Fly. I believed. You're a right. dick. Right. You don't start trying to tie me with a brush of people that didn't believe in Anthony Martial. I you sat are. here and you touched are. that phone with you. you are. Yeah. Uh, we was in Thailand and I was telling you this is it. This is his season. He's going to turn it around. And I said to you, and you, you know didn't have to tell me that. I said to you after I met him in the lift and he was all right and you were like his best mate. I am a fully fledged member of Martial FC now for the rest of my life because he, he was all right. He was eating fruit, wasn't he? In this lift he was a good time. lad, and that's all that matters to me. You've told everyone what he was eating. I haven't. I remember I one, of, one of you, you said that. I never told him I've that. I've heard this on, on a broadcast at the start last season. I never told him that. He was broadcast. eating fruit. <laughs> That's like one of the most innocuous things. Why would you tell that? Because it colours the story when you tell it. You stood there, he was eating you fruit. You also had chocolate on there as well. Really? Yeah, yeah chocolate See, I didn't there. know that. I Lots didn't know it's that. Do you know what, I, you know what st stunned me? Count is how tall it. he was. I always thought he was small, but he's not. Anyway, let's talk about Bournemouth. If you want, um, Bournemouth, you've got. Bournemouth are going to treat our defence like a rag doll today. Watch this. You've got Neto. Dominic Solanke and that. Oh, never mind about Sorry, that. Whopper. Um, yeah, but you're right. You've got Neto, Kirkes, Cook, Solanke, Christy, Dango, um, Smith, Django, Sin Sinistera, Cliver, Sinesse, Zabani. How would you pronounce that one? Zabani. Zabani. Go on. Pathetic. I know I am. Will you just do the fucking thing for Is me? Is that then? a tan? What's wrong with you, man? Zabani. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anthony's not here, thank fuck. No, no. Right, Anthony's good. Can't believe Anthony's not even in the squad. What's going on? We don't know why he's not there, do we? Right, we'll find out. I think, I don't they, know. They stopped off. At the they right stopped off at Beaconsfield. Bridge. Right, go on. Services. Yeah. And he was still in the queue at Costa and they just went, fuck him. <laughs> do you know what? It'll be Harsh right. that. Bang out of No order. one will remember. Bang out of order. Anthony had an absolute worldy against um, Chelsea. Yeah, but who cares, man? <laughs> like, like, come on. We're man. not believing in Anthony all of a sudden, are we? You know my thoughts, right? Yeah, and, I, and I agree. He everyone, has done better. Everyone has a chance. Since the cup game against Liverpool, he's you done put better. That shirt on but we're not going to start. United. This isn't what we're doing, you. are we? I'll back you. We're yeah. not going to start. <laughs> Is that really a player's name? Yeah, it's What's that? At the bottom. What? What? Who? Jack Marriott. In the 21st minute. You've missed it. Oh, now. Sorry, it's not going to come back. Sorry, I had a camera in my way. All I'd seen was Jack Marriott, but it's a Marriott Hotel. The, There's the a player next... called. I'm not going to say it. The next goal in the uh, Wrexham game is going to be crucial, though. You need to keep an eye on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Wait, yeah. It's on a knife edge, as it is at the Etihad by the looks of things. Um, right. Get involved in the chat in the comments and let us know your score predictions as well. You've seen the Bournemouth team, you've seen our team. Let us know how you think it's going to go. Anthony, he's out. I mean,. Other than the last few games, he's not really done much this season, so it's not the end of the world. Let's not start pretending that just because Anthony's out, that that's you know a massive blow to United. It's a bit of an inconvenience because I think he's been playing well. But we tend to do that, don't we? It's like the player that's not available, 
is the one. It's like romanticizing it, Like, you remember Amrabat was, was, we were about to get him and everyone was saying, wait till we get Amrabat. Yeah, the next, the best thing since sliced bread. Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember. Last the year, Arsenal yeah. game. You know what it was? Because we all seen that one gif of him running after Mbappe. Gif, not even a clip, you know, a gif. <laughs> That's how bad it was. He ran alongside <laughs> Kylian Mbappe for three <laughs> seconds <laughs> and he's the answer to all Manchester United. And it was like, we fell I in love with that, that Morocco clip. team, innit? Yeah, it was that clip yeah. where he's running like Sonic the Hedgehog and he had the yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog music in the background. That was it then. Let's get him in. And also, he proper wanted to come as well, which made everyone like him a bit more. Basically, thing is now, like, and now like if you look at it now, mm. with the Newcastle result now with Spurs, this is this could be like the Daytona 500 because Spurs next three games can we capitalise? And you well, know you, I mean? I'll ask you this, Andy. Do you think there's any possibility of Manchester United getting Champions League football next <laughs> season? <laughs> no, but we have to. Don't laugh. I'm, I'm being listen, honest. No, we'll get your turn in a minute. This is Andy's turn. Don't listen to him. No. He's a naysayer. Well, He's got no faith. He, yeah. he, he, there's a dark presence in the room and I, I'm intimidated. So, uh, you know what I mean? So that's why I, I have to like stand down. So you I, stick I, I don't your think, guns, I right. don't think don't we'll do it. it. But we need to get European football. But, like you say, anything can happen here in the next half hours. You stay in Stingray. If I offered you... Don't call him a dark presence, all right? It's not nice. Don't. Don't. <laughs> It's fair to you. <laughs> what? It's even worse. Fair it's, not, to you. it's not even I'm worse. Scared him, it's not even worse. It's the same. I can't speak up. <laughs> I can't I speak up about worse. the Champions League. Like, right. Oh, I know. No. Listen, <laughs> v, VJ Motti and Adam McCullough will not be slagged off on this channel. Cole Cotter. <laughs> that was Cole it. Sorry, Cotter. I couldn't remember what name it was to give you. Um, right, I'm going to give you. I'm going to play a little game. Right. This is the Europa Conference, right? Or well, this is no European football next season. Which one do you want? Well, consider I'm still out drinking me outside the Europe. So no, no, no European. European. You'd rather have no Europe European. Scored. You what, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, Bit of Phoenix Knights. Uh, so you'd have no European football over conference. Not Europa League, conference. Mm, that's the thing, but we need some European football of some description, innit? No, we don't. If we okay, don't, you've got the same choice. If it ain't Champions League, you don't. Make well, sense. You don't even want the Europa? Nah, fuck that, man. Adam, Adam, Adam. I know Adam, I'm in Adam. the minority. Adam, Adam, Adam right. Me and you, in week. Stockholm, right? There, that night against right, Ajax. You've done it now, forget it, man. Hey. <laughs> forget Is that it. how it works? And if hey, we're in the Conference League. Imagine if Fergie league. said that in 93. If We've won the, the Premier League now, forget it. If we're in the Conference League, I'm done. No, oh. right. All right, oh and I'm, I'm not even going to remotely Fair try and yeah. convince oh you that the Conference God. League is worth your so time. Even they knock down Old Trafford, I'm going to sneak into the strip for them. What about Europa League? Yeah. Oh, no. It's got to be Champions it's League or nothing. Thanks, man. So we win the FA Cup, we we oh God. Ab abdicate the oh Europa yeah. League place. I, obviously, I want it if, if it means winning the FA Cup. I love the FA Cup. I want to win that more than anything. Right, we're going to get Ange on in a minute. Before, but come on, man. Before we do, though. Europa League. Do you know what though? It's depressing, man. You get because even when you play Barcelona it's in the Europa League, it's like winning and yeah. Some people sneak in the home end and just it's like the ugliest lines, competition you? and you win. <laughs> it's like you don't want to be there, do you? Europa. Yeah, no one wants to be there. You're telling me when you was a kid, the only team around, wants to be there that playground severe. with a ball at your feet, you weren't like. Liverpool went to be there this week. One day this will be in Europa. What? Liverpool went to be there this week. No, now they did not. Now they're not. You know what I mean? off Atalanta. Them, them, them old cells are non-refundable in Dublin. So. <laughs> Dublin's just breathed a massive sigh of relief on it if, if they don't get to that final. Oh, this is a good one. Honestly. What would Andy's Indian name be? I'm going to let you take this. <laughs> it's, it's a grey area for me, this no, one. No, I think people should send them in. I, <laughs> what <laughs> could possibly go wrong? Andy, <laughs> do us all a favour. And a let, let Maka take this one. <laughs> yeah. What is it? And a jit. Nice. Right, Nicely done. Um, Andy, before you go, what's your score prediction? Uh, I'd take a 2 0. You take a 2 0. You take a 2 0, but is that <laughs> the prediction? I'd go for a, a 2 0 and a clean sheet, and let's just stay in touch for Europe. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, Andy's going 2 0. You've got that key, haven't you? Yep. Right. Uh, and, oh, Andy just walked off now. It's her time. So come oh, on. Nice one, Andy. Oh, my God. Hey. Right, this is what I'm up against. Uh, let us know your score predictions. Uh, loads of people in the chat. See, I don't want to read any of these out because I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Super chat. Yeah, it's a super chat. <laughs> don't be uh, stupidness. Yeah, read it. Um, Psycho says, finally, Andy the man is on. He's going to be back, by the way. Don't worry if you're, you know, you want your fill of Andy Tate. <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> Pause. Um, he's going to be back in about 45, well, not in 45 minutes. He's back at half time and then at full time as well. So we'll, have, we'll get updates from Andy Tate and give you your, your, his thoughts on the game. Sorry to get my words out. 
Ange's here. <laughs> Alright, All right, Ange. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Did you have a good birthday. It was your birthday recently, yeah, innit? Yeah, it was on Monday. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it was good. What, what did you do for your birthday? What did I do? Uh, <laughs> don't know why you were looking at me then, like I'd done something dodgy or something. No, I, listen. Because like, I'm, I'm I'm Alex Ferguson, he knows what yeah, you did. Yeah, I know already. He knows yeah. I, got um, a, I got a text. Just want you to not where no, you are. Um, no, it was, it was <laughs> quite chill. Um, just. Oh, I That's had to work you know in the morning. Old, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like no them on, it was pretty I, chill. I, like I worked in the show. morning, then went did a bit of shopping, went for something to eat. Am I allowed but to ask how many candles on the cake? Because I just don't. No, ask no, that. you can. Don't it's the it's the last question. one of the twenties, the oh, two nine. No. Really? Yeah. Life begins here. Yeah, this is it, man. Allegedly. Yeah. Mm. Like, you're in the big league now. Um, get involved in the comments and let us know what oh, you we're think. City 5 1. City, right? Yeah, if anyone cares, City are winning 5 1. Mm. Gavardi Oles just scored in the 93rd minute. Um, yeah, I mean. What happens if you flip 5 1 and put a 1 at the be end, beginning? <laughs> You get one one five yeah, charges. Boy. Yeah, it doesn't count anyway. <laughs> yeah. So have your little wins and mm. beat Luton five one and win Ooh, the Premier League again Luton. and do the treble again because none nice. of it counts. Who's yeah. a bigger club, City or Luton? <laughs> so it is difficult, isn't it? It is. Yeah, a but you've got one. to think like within Luton, it'll be like Luton. dead popular, like Luton, like everyone in Luton will be a and Luton like Luton's fan. achievement is they came from mm. non-league. The and they yeah, built the way yeah. up where yeah. no you think sugar daddy no no cheating mm. no sports washing no 115 no charges no terrible documentaries you had to watch that didn't you yeah oh, for no. work I had to watch the first episode of the Netflix documentary the treble don't waste your time I mean I don't think anyone watching this would waste the time they had it, a documentary before didn't they yeah they did because I remember watching just watching people, it when though. it was because remember the, it was the pop the pog were comeback Season. Yeah, yeah. And I watched that. I remember the, 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 there was a clip one of Pep Guardiola doing his team sort of way like he was dancing. Because mm. it's a bit of a psycho, isn't it? Apparently. Yeah. I like um, it. He what? You can fuck off. <laughs> right, go on. Ignore yeah, it. he was. No, um, I like Pep me because I like football. I'm a football purist. I like he's a I'm not a football coach. purist. Oh, like, do you know I, what I mean? He just yeah. gives me like. In my day, you hate everyone. Yeah. I do hate him. Right, good. But I like I hear that talk around here. You like, he's me, my like, top clock person. Next. I'd want to punch in football, Pep. Pep. Yeah. Right, okay. It used to be Joe Hart for quite a while for some reason. Joe I just really didn't like his face when he really? was at City. Yeah, really. Yeah, he's got one of them faces, Joe. Yeah, so no, Pep's just. He's very intense, so they beat Dortmund 2 1. Haaland had that amazing goal, John Stones had that amazing goal, and Pep is screaming at him that he wasn't good enough. It's just performing. But then at it? the end of it, he yeah. screams at them saying they're not good, and then goes, But well done, guys, congratulations. <laughs> and you're like, What? Did you see it? Was it Jack Grealish, your mate? He was having a go at the, the other day at the end of the game. And then yeah. when he was asked about it, he was like, Oh, yeah, that was He definitely has a off. Twitter account, Pep. He 100%. always refers to like, what Twitter's saying about him. Yeah, mm. so he's, he's on there and he's scrolling, making yeah. sure, scrolling, searching, scrolling. His, <laughs> searching his own name. Mm. Uh, a few uh, predictions have come in. Jim Max says 3-0 to United today. Uh, Trinity Mentality says sing Jay and Adam. Um, maybe later if we're winning, <laughs> uh, we might do. Paul Gill in the Super Chats says 3-2 United. Come on, United. And, oh, he's, he's given uh, Andy uh, a, a name. There you go. Angie Sing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Trinity Mentality also says happy birthday, Ange. Thank you. Um, I'm Batman, says 3 0 United. A lot of confidence here. Uh, Gordy B666 says 3 1 United, Rashi Hoyland, Nacho. Um, Rasmus Hoyland, Maka. What have you made of his season so far? I he's like been him, a bit man. up and down on it. I like the kid. Yeah. Put it out there before anyone gets carried away saying I don't. Uh, but he's not been. He's Obviously, not he's just like come back that, from an injury, hasn't he? Hasn't he? So been he's been like subbed a lot in a lot of games yeah. quite early. And I've always been disappointed to see him go off, but you kind of understand why he's gone off if he's just come back from injury. But I, I'm a fan of his. I like him. Um, and I think there's a lot more to come from him as well. Do you think the the striker that we're obviously going to sign in the summer, because I just can't imagine we don't, would be someone that plays as a sort of, not, not an understudy, but a backup to Hoyland? Is that how you see that going? Mm -hmm. Because he's, uh, it's weird with Hoyland because he's young. He's still relatively inexperienced. How but old then, is he? I think he's 20. Right. Oh, no, sorry. He's 21, I think. Sorry, forgive me. Um, yeah, he's 21. You know since, how old he is. I know. He's 21 in February. Bro, I don't even know the age of my young kids. Um, so he's still young and he's still relatively inexperienced, but he's had a decent enough season where you think, mm. you don't want to be, for me, dropping him. I'd still have him as my number one striker. I get what you mean. You're going to get it to Cause Cause you some, know. Someone's still going to play. You're still going to play 30 games. But some, right. I understand your point. Someone is going to be the first choice. Though. Yeah. You don't have like this old so make uh, them compete. first choice. Can, 
So that's kind of like dropping him then, isn't it? Nah. You know, it's because he's first choice Step right up. now and now he's not scoring. And then when he's not scoring, you've got so, to right, then, let So, all right, let me reword it then. All right. So what type of strategy do you get? Do you go out and try and get someone like an Ivan Tony who's going to come in and expect I would, to yeah. start? Just have two. Yeah? So yeah. You have Alvarez, two. man. Yeah. But I, yeah, but Alvarez We've knows he's number two. We've got to, he knows we've got he's number two, two big bro. boys. Mm. Right. We two. once had four big boys. Yeah, but that was a different mm. time, wasn't it? That was... Oh, no. What's happened here? Where's that? Is that... It's not actually part of that, is it? Stop all crying. Is it? Yeah. It possibly. Because them and Wrexham gone up, haven't they? Joe, Joe, um, Joe's area, isn't it? Um... Yeah, Stockport. Stockport, yeah, it is. City fans will be happy. Yeah, that's a great day for them. They've beaten Lewin and they've gone up <laughs> as well. Happy days. Them jokes never get old. Yeah, the thing with Hoyland, right, in the Premier League, obviously he was banging him in in Europe, in the Champions League. <coughs> then he went 14 games, whatever it was, in the in the Premier League. I can't bother to count him. Um, then he scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in six, seven goals in six games. Um, and then he's not scored in his last few games in the Premier League. Like Mac is saying, he's, he's had to come off, uh, came off early against Chelsea. Mm. What, what have you made of him and do you think that like Maka would you like to see a striker come Rex in and challenge up. challenge him uh, I would probably agree I think overall um, it's it's been okay we would in a perfect world of course you want more but I think the fact that he was able to go on that run yeah. he's more than capable um, but I think it comes down to man management and the type of person he is, which we obviously don't know. Yeah. Some people respond really, really well to having someone kind of like breathing Luke down the Shaw neck. loves that, doesn't he? Yeah. He absolutely needs someone. But then him. some people don't. And is it, you know, th so there's a couple of different layers as to what kind of personality he is. <laughs> but... But I think that um, I would like... You're not going to want someone kind of the same age as him in the same kind of experience. I would want somebody more experienced, 100%. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Go on, share it with the group. <laughs> uh, please read this out. Go on. Why are oh, you giving it me to read out? Just in case. Yeah, it's for you, innit? It's All right, a comment okay. for you, innit? Go on, read, it leave, read this out. Just read it out. <laughs> Slick Vic <laughs> says, Jay, your outfit and skin complexion <laughs> is fucking fire today. Much love from Montreal Daddy. Well, thank you. That's what I like. <laughs> your daddy. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> so read it again. Sorry, yeah, I thought Yeah, read it again. I thought that was his name. Slick Vic says, Jay, your outfit and skin complexion is fucking fire today. <laughs> Much love from Montreal Daddy. <laughs> Oh, daddy. Slick Vicks, obviously. Oh, so Montreal Vince. Daddy is that their name? No, no, no. He's, he's oh. in They're from Montreal. From Montreal. He's a daddy. daddy. Yeah, Ron Bergen did that. We yeah, yeah, we needed so a bit of punctuation. You're calling me Daddy, that. saying my skin complexion and my and outfit. outfit. I love the fact that my outfit, which is basically a brown hoodie, <laughs> is fucking fire today. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't get any more basic Matching than what I'm him, wearing. Man. I think that's what I mean. But yeah, apparently it's fucking People fire. can't see you to your smile. It's just blending <laughs> in. <laughs> Do you know what I'm right? You guys say that, right? I actually thought that when I put this on today. I thought, am I going to look like I've got no top on from Blink the Blink, Jay! Can't see that! <laughs> That's what I did. I thought, is it too close to my skin tone? And then, do you know what I thought? I thought, we've got a hoodie, like, we've got a rack of hoodies there. I thought, I can always swap it if it's a bit bangers. Uh, <laughs> but no, thanks for pointing out. Thank you, uh, Slick Vic. Um, and, you know, obviously been on, the, been on the brandy early today. Um, he says, he says, I can't believe they read it. <laughs> yes, we do. Maka believe always it. makes sure we read all, all the comments. Don't you worry about that. Um, yeah, M Marcus Rashford. I feel like I need to talk about Marcus. Yeah. He's been getting a bit of stick. It's obviously not been a great season for him. He's pushed back a bit on social media. His brother pushed back the other week when Rio Ferdinand and Gary Neville were sort of discussing what's I going on. Was, I thought that was a bit weird from Rio Ferdinand, you know. Well, yeah, where do you sit on Marcus? Because I've not had a chance bit. to talk to you about like, it. Rio Ferdinand comes from, come from a luxury, luxurious position of a playing for one of the best Manchester United teams and squads manager ever. Yeah, mm. agreed. Like, Marcus Rashford is more talented than some of the players he played with. And uh, like, that, like he, he had the luxury of being around so many leaders. He didn't have to be the leader like everyone else was. Can you imagine Marcus Rashford playing for those teams? He starts sometimes in those yeah. games. Like, I think he'd, you know, He'd be a great player for, for a Sir Alex Ferguson uh, team. I just think like you've got to judge them differently. You, you, Gary Neville and Rio played for like the best squad, the best club 
the fans were always happy. Like very rare. Like the only reason fans got unreal was when he didn't sign a contract. Yeah. Mm. Very yeah. rarely were there any occasions where the fans weren't happy with the results and everything. I think it's a bit unfair, man. And Do I think the kind of pressure that Rashford must deal with as well. And then you got s social media and everything. I think it's amplified a lot more. I think it's a bit harsh, really. And I think, like, this week, yeah, I've seen Arsenal fans, like, rally around. Like, they were, and Arsenal fans are annoying, yeah, but they rallied around, like, Saka and all that. And we seem to just always hand Rashford out to dry. It just pisses I, me I, off. I, I'm, right, I'm going to, this is where I will officially lose the crowd. I get what you're saying, and I notice it a lot with the Scousers, right? Mm. They, they, and I'm not saying let's not be like the Scousers, that's the last thing I want. But if you notice they get a young player coming through, or they get a player who's under a bit of pressure, mm. they circle the wagons, they'll all back him, they'll all get behind him, and all of a sudden, you know, what's your name? Kwanzaa's the greatest player you've ever seen, or, yep. you know, Trent Alexander Arnold could do no wrong, and he's arguably a better right midfielder than David Beckham was, or whatever, all this mm -hmm. nonsense. But they do that. United. Sometimes we do put players on a pedestal and then knock them down again. Yeah. I get that, and it is a little bit frustrating. And I agree with Macker. I think people say, "Oh, Marcus Rashford would never get in a strikers' figure team." He would. He could. He would, people yeah. are now like going, "What is Adam waffling about?" No, but Fergie no. would have drop kicked him out. No, we, Fergie no. would have put his arm around him, made sure like the media weren't laying into, him, made yeah. sure like all that was like yeah. Fergie defended shitter players. Yeah. Like, like Fergie you, you got <laughs> more out of less players. Like I, I don't. Yeah. Believe like, you look at some of the players we've had under Fergie, right? And you're saying there's no way. Marcus Rashford would play for it. Jesper Blanc has played 40 odd games, <laughs> right? He played 40 odd games in a treble winning season, including the Champions League final, right? Now, I'm sorry, but I like Jesper Blanc, but Marcus Rashford's a far better player. Mm. So there's no, you can't say, well, that he wouldn't have got in the United team. He would, Danny Welbeck, we love Danny Welbeck, by the way, got a title. It was a, a part of a title winning side. So I think Fergie would have got the best out of Marcus Rashford and he would have played Marcus Rashford. Mm. He might have rotated him or whatever, but he would have played a part. I get what you're saying, Macron, I do. I understand everything you're saying, but is there not? sort of the counter argument that someone like Real, because he's coming from that experience of playing under Fergie, he's won the lot. And he's maybe he's been there a little bit himself where he's made decisions or said things that he thinks, mm, I could have done a bit better. Is he not in a position where he can comment on it because of that? Or do you think he needs to just sort of, as, as Marcus's yeah, brother said, out, yeah, as Marcus's brother said, yeah. reach out directly. Sorry, I'm not yeah. asking no, you. No, no, I, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with you. I think it's it's difficult because <coughs> like I've been frustrated with Marcus Rashford. I've spoken about it. Um, I think for me, the idea of rallying around players, I totally get. I think it's, for me personally, it's because of some of the things that have happened yeah. where you just feel like, and again, we don't know what's going on, but you just feel like, mate, come on. Like, come on, like we're really trying here. Like as a fan, I'm really trying to rally around you. And then you do things or you behave in certain ways and you just want to put your head in your hands. And I think that's where I get frustrated. But I agree. I, don't, I think that there are better ways to communicate. And surely any professional footballer that has been at the peak of their career and has won certain things and had the media pressure and all that type of stuff, you, you should know a little bit better, I think. You know how it's going to be taken by the media. You know how it's potentially going to be spun. I think unless you know the player personally, unless you can pick the phone up, I think it is, it is one of those, but... I, I think fans, a lot of fans have been very, very harsh on him. Yeah. I do think that we knock people down very, very quickly. Um, and it's down to a lot of maybe other frustrations and things, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think also with Fergie, I don't think that, and again, we don't know what's going on, but I don't think Rashford would have been in some of the positions that he's maybe found himself in mm. if he had a manager like Sir Alex no, Ferguson. Because no. we've heard it a million times. He would want to know about people's home lives. He would want to know about how people are living, you know, who they were dating or married to or blah, 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 or really get to know the person. And I'm not criticising any of our managers because I don't know if they do that, but you know it's not on the same level as somebody like Fergie. Mm. And I think that his man management was second to none. And I think yeah. if he had somebody like that, I don't think we would have seen half the headlines that we've seen about certain things that have been going on. I, I, I do, I, look, I think Rashford deserves criticism sometimes. So I'm yeah, not of course, no one's saying that. that. Yeah. Like, you know when he gets, like insane. the Balfast thing is stupid and that. But yeah. also, I see people like suggesting we should sell him and that. And I just think, like I get criticising Bruno's performances sometimes Rashford's performances but when people are saying stuff like that get rid of that I just I you know the, 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 the funny thing it. about that is and I've said this a million times on so many different videos is if you sell right this idea we sell Marcus Rashford and bring someone in that's better look over the right hand side of that attack how many right wingers have we bought in 
who oh haven't worked. God, yeah. We've spent 250 million quid in the last four years on right wingers mm. and none of them have worked out. Mm. The kid that's playing at right wing now is a teenager that came through the ranks. I know we bought him in, but who mm. came through the ranks. You've had the likes of Jaden Sancho, who's not even playing for United. He's playing for Dortmund at the minute. You've had Anthony, who's been, you know, not really worked out. Palestri, who's not really worked out. Like, there's no guarantee that you're going to go and sell a player who you know is capable of banging in goals. Mm. Bring in someone else with probably 100 million or whatever you're going to pay for mm -hmm. him that he's going to shine. You might end up with a situation where you've got both your wingers are cost you loads of money and aren't really doing it. I just want to see Marcus getting back to his best. He, I needs, think an, he needs another uh, season, I think, to, yeah. to figure out. Um, I, 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 you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, the stuff about selling him and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if a team came in with X amount of money, you know, we could repurpose that money, blah, blah, blah. But I just think you need, whatever's gone on this season, I think you need to draw a line under it. Um, and I think you need to assess it more from next season. Yeah, it's one of them as weird, man, because whenever you defend him, like, people just go, oh, you're always defending him, Marcus Rashford. I've criticised Marcus Rashford so Mate, many Max times this season. Goes last season. I know, mm. I've criticised him all this season for performances. It's not like it's just everything's been mint, because it yeah, hasn't. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's, well, it's not been good enough. Like, yeah, of course. can't wait sometimes, or get annoyed if you stick up for him, and that just baffles me, like, it really does. People, people go, uh, oh, you wouldn't get 50 million from him. We spent 80 million on fucking Anthony, bro. Mate, I know, we all I don't think you get 80 for, for we'll spend it on uh, 80 Anthony. for Marcus. It yeah. depends yeah. if PSG. I mean, I think if, worth, if, I if we're think talking, talking PSG, mil. which is the main link, yeah. I think you would get I, I, at least I think 80. You, you probably I wouldn't. Think 100. Look, you've some, seen some of the prices that players are going for at the minute. Like, I think you'll easily get. Especially if he goes to the Euros and has a good tournament. Mate, just looking back at the Liverpool game, Atlanta save there. I don't even know why it's a consideration. I'd never sell Marcus Rashford. No, fair enough. It seems like just madness to even consider it, really, to me. Um, Jed's Dead Baby says uh, he's been a member of the Academy for 16 months. Starting a campaign to name the new stadium the Trinity Stadium. And by campaign, I mean posting it here and doing absolutely nothing else. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, Brobot says we could be mathematically safe <laughs> by the end of the day. <laughs> Hashtag Greg's. Every cloud. You know yeah. what? I like that. That's some po a positive we can take from today. <laughs> yeah. Get involved in the chat yeah. in the comments. Let us know your score predictions. Uh, from one wing to another, Alejandro Ganacho. He's having a decent season, isn't he? Are you happy with yeah, him? Not too shabby, is it? No, I like, I like Ganacho. I do, yeah. man. Same. I think he's a good player and I think he's an exciting player. And I like the fact that even if he's trying something that doesn't work, he, he never gives up, man. He keeps Very going. Very passionate, yeah. which I like, yeah. He feels like a proper throwback to the wingers we used to have, just constantly running at his fullback. Has he played to like 20 odd, like 30, almost 30 games in a spin he, as well? Yeah, mm. he's played a lot of football this season. Mm. And he's always, you know, like, he saw it against Liverpool in the FA Cup. Was it, he played. Is that a worry game. or is that. Obviously, he's great for his experience, but he's. Wor ever worry about burnout with players like a little bit because we've seen it with some footballers haven't we at United where mm. they've been mint and they've done really well and then they fell off and you do worry that could happen especially with a kid because you forget you can forget he's 19 mm. like you can forget he's only ve like very young yeah. and it's only his second proper season and his first season he didn't really play that much he started every game in it almost. yeah I think he's um, he started every game yeah yeah I think you're right actually he's just been like and playing a lot of 90 minutes I saw minutes a record as well. about two, three weeks ago, which said he'd started 27 games I in think the you're spin. right, yeah. Something like so that. So I, I can't remember him being on the bench recently. And you, you look at his return this season in the Premier League, 29 appearances, seven goals, three assists. It's not like amazing numbers, but it's decent. I think it's decent, yeah. Yeah, I do. And I think, yeah, I think um, Alejandro Ganacho is a great player. He's a good lad as well. Uh, let us know in the comments and the chat what you think about the team. How long we got till kick-off now? What time is it? 19 minutes. 19 minutes till kick-off. Tony Haas is 2-2 draw. Does anyone actually think we've got any chance of making Champions League football? It's not mathematically done, is it? But come on, man, it's just... I, I mean, realistically, I'm... No. Let's have a look in at the table just to give ourselves a bit of an update, right? United are on, in seventh on 31 games. Um, Newcastle are above us after that win today. Um, Spurs are 11 points above us, but we've played a game less. But even so, and Villa's the same. They're 11 points above us, but we played a game less. Both of those teams as well have got a yeah. far superior And Villa are playing difference. Arsenal tomorrow. Right, okay. So, I mean, but you know what, yeah? It's look, done. It was done when, in a week, we Brentford. dropped seven points from winning mm. positions. Chelsea, Liverpool, Brentford. That was just And so you even look at, like, we lost at home against Bournemouth. Like, know. we should have had tapping of top four this season. It shouldn't have even been a discussion. Every time you thought, we'll be all right, this could be happening now. It's like the Fulham loss. Yeah. That was so... Even Spurs, I go back to that Spurs game. To draw that game when we was oh leading twice. Because like, that's Chelsea. obviously... Oh, bro. How are we losing oh, that? that Chelsea game. I was there. It was horrible. I've never seen anything like it, you know. 
honestly, it's just the crappiest it. team ever as well. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm not going. That was you a stupid worry. question. <laughs> C- is there any chance we could? No, it's where's it's, that I'm cold? You're not cold sitting anyway. here. You're cold. Look, no, I mean you can leave your coat. You won't feel benefit you outside. Yeah, I know. Well, sorry. It, it, yeah. I mean it's slightly ridiculous. We've got to have our coats on in it. <laughs> You got a nice brown hoodie. I know. Right. Then They're all the rage. Then my skin uh, tone uh, and hoodie would have been on fire and all. Um, Ryan uh, Veg Natek says David De Gea still hasn't found a club. I don't think he's looking for a club. He's chilling. I think, I think, he's chilling. Di- I think there's a big difference between hasn't found. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I don't looking. want one because his his wife's very um, quite famous in Spain, isn't she? She's, oh, is she? She's a singer and she's like um, I think. She's been on, you know, been a judge on like Spain's version of whatever, like the voices, the kind of really? competition. So she's, it's not like there's no one bringing oh many bacon or anything. So I think he's all right, just chilling. <laughs> to be fair, I think a few he's, nice holidays. he's got enough. He um, should have had a testimony though, innit? Yeah, yeah, he should have. Yeah, it's it's annoying the way that that sort of works out. There's a picture of him and Bruno the other day, wasn't there? Yeah. Of something like. I like David De Gea. I think it was the right time for him to, to move on. Not the way it happened. I don't think that was great. But it made sense to me that yeah, we brought in another goalkeeper. How else oh. would it have been? Like, do you mean we should have announced it earlier? Yeah, I think you could have announced it and said he's leaving at the end of the season. And maybe gave him that but That kind of showed you the whole issue with United. Like, yeah. we d- we should have planned to replace him like two years prior. Yeah. We kind of went, oh shit, yeah, De Gea's going to go, isn't it? In May. Yeah. And then we went, oh, he's playing well at the moment. And oh, no, I doing all right. Oh, it's it's like, yeah, I know him. Played with me. And whereas, really, yeah. we should have had a list of keepers that we were yeah. looking at for like months. Yeah. It was proper weird, wasn't it? Just the way, and then there was thought that we gave him a contract, offered him a contract, and then we took it away and said, actually, you can't have that contract. We just offered you, which is just nonsense. I don't oh, know what's shit. going on there. So yeah, but and then it was like, oh, the the, the FA Cup final made the ten hours mind up for him. You think well, why he made mine on mind up? Yeah, no, mine had already been made up to be fair. But I think it shouldn't get to the point where. That is what makes you mind. We should know already what your plans are and whether yeah. he's the right goalkeeper for you. So, I don't know. Raf22 says, David De Gea cost Oli a trophy. I'll never forgive him for that. Oh. Ooh. Maybe we should have taken a chance before he even got to penalties. Ooh. Yeah, that's tight, that. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, I think that's, that's Some could bad. argue he kept the clean sheet in the final and we should have scored. Yeah. No, was it 1-1? One, one? Sorry, it was 1-1. One, 1-0, one. One, oh, wasn't it? But, you know what I mean? Cavani scored, didn't we? We didn't turn up in that game, game, though, did we? No, that's not his fault. That's tight. That's a bit harsh, though. How different would we have been looking at Cavani if we went on to win that? You know, scoring the equaliser. The whole story of Manchester United is different, isn't it? Mm. Like, Oli probably and if we didn't get job. And if we didn't get yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah. Cavani would Ralph have been Ralph Rangnick's never a thing. <clears throat> it's bad, that. that was... Just, uh, do you know that's what? So it was bad. so weird. Do you know what I hated about that, right? Solanke's going to batter us. All the, all the hipsters mm. shouting at me about the Gagan <laughs> press. It's Gagan press, Jay. You don't know about the Gagan press. He's a godfather of German football. God, I can't believe you don't know anything about him. Get a grip. You're going to get a right treat. I had 40 minutes against Crystal Palace where we looked all right and then that was it. We gave up on it. Yep. And we were proper shit. And we got knocked out of all the cups and finished six. Mint. Uh, Paul Madison, who's been a member of the first team for 40 months, says, what are your threes, all-time, academy graduate only, starting 11, and who'd Ooh. manage them, Busby or Fergie, up the Reds, 3-2 win today? Well, that's a video within itself, isn't it? Academy only starting 11s, oh, all-time starting, starting 11s. 11s. I don't, I'd only go with what I've seen. I couldn't, I couldn't go with Edwards and all yeah, that, because I'm not... And, and, I don't really have no an opinion on, on him, and Bobby you know. Charlton and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So no, that's, that's my manager would obviously be Fergie. Yeah, yeah. but Who's keeper, the goalkeeper for in the academy graduates only goalkeeper. Um, the only one that I can think of that was like academy. Um, Z- Robert Z- Zeller. Is that his name? Yeah, the, Sam, the German lad. I'm not not saying that he should be in a stack. That was Sam Johnston. Was oh, it, yeah, wasn't Sam he Johnston. academy? Mm, Tom Eaton originally. Tom Eaton. Academy. Mm. Yeah, I'll stick Tom Eaton in there. Yeah, like Tom Eaton. Hey, nice guy. Gary Neville, yeah. right back. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. Left back. Ooh. Left back. Mm. Uh, academy, academy graduate left left back. Oh, you're looking at like a Don Hood Love or something. Oh, what about Brandon Williams? Stick oh yeah. Brandon in there. Mm. What are you, if I was saying Donald Love a minute ago, hey. I'd rather Donald Love than Brandon Williams. Rochdale's finest. Uh, <laughs> left back. That's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, John O'Shea. Oh, shit now, yeah. John Bloody hell. Sorry. Centre yeah. backs, Johnny Evans. Yes. Yeah. Wes. Wes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, are we not missing anyone obvious? No. Um, no, someone saying Phil Neville. No, nah, nah. <laughs> come on. Well, actually, <laughs> left back. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. What? Who oh. do we who do we put in the John O'Shea? Yeah, John O'Shea. 
Um, Mount not putting them away. No, it's Neville's obviously Beckham, Keane, Skulls. Keane's not a Callum McGregor oh, sorry, as well, you Keane. know. Skulls, Skulls. Beckham, Skulls, Giggs. Yeah. I need to leave one out. Beckham, Skulls, Giggs. Are we going 4 3 3? Nicky Butt. Oh, so you go 4 4 2, Nicky Butt. Yeah. And then up top, you could have. Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck. <laughs> I'm not even remotely joking. Danny's straight in there. Yep. Um, Danny Welbeck. And, uh, I can argue Rossi. with Sparky, you know, because I saw a lot, enough of him. Did Sparky come from our academy? He, came for, he did a little bit of a weird one, Mark Hughes. He came from our academy, absolutely smashed it. And then and we announced halfway through the season he was going to Barcelona. Went to Barcelona, had a bit of a stinker there. It wasn't really, didn't really work out. Went to Bayern Munich on loan and then from Barca, and then we bought him back, Fergie bought him back to United. I'd go with Mark Hughes then. Yeah. As long as there's not someone obvious we're missing out. Get involved in the comments in the chat. Uh, There's a few names being um, put in there. PK. Yeah, he came through the academy. You could put PK in there. You know what, you could put... PK Evans. Yeah, you could have have had... But Wes Brown, I think, done more for us, isn't it? Clayton Blackmore, says Bob Bates. Mm. Arthur Alberston. Norman Whiteside would be a striker. Big Norm, yeah. He could have been. I was Uh, thinking about him, but I don't don't really remember him. mm. Quite a few people saying Pogba. Oh, yeah. You could have had him, him in there. Would you have had him over? Nicky Butt, maybe. Nicky Butt. But mm. Nicky Butt. If you're going to have balance, so I think you need someone who's going to do the tackling there. Yeah. You're not relying on Paul Scholes, are you? Um, Danny Drinkwater. Darren Fletcher. Fletcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you have Fletcher over Nicky Butt? Mm. I wouldn't. No, I don't know. You know, it's very, it's very difficult. That. No. I think Nicky Butt edges it, but it's yeah. very... Because Nicky Butt, think about, without Nicky Butt, we don't win the treble. No. Mm. No. Do you know what I mean? I think Nicky Butt had more good seasons. And I think we right, underestimate right. how important Nicky Butt was. Yeah. He just sort of slips under solid, the radar, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, he's not quite the skulls <laughs> who's arguably the greatest midfielder mm. England's ever produced. David Beckham, who's just a superstar for a, a multitude skulls, of reasons. Giggs, the most successful player ever. Beckham, Giggs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like Nicky Butt. He always goes a little bit under that Stryker, radar. So you got Giuseppe Rossi, <laughs> Danny Welbeck. Your mate, Danny Welbeck. you got... Kiko Makeda, you got Sylvan Banks Blake. You've got, you've got like, I mean, you know, you've, you've got, got Marcus, you've got Mason Greenwood, you've Marcus got other Rashford. players that are just. <gasps> Marcus Rashford's in mine. Yeah. Like. What am I talking about? You're going through the round the house. Giuseppe Marcus Ross Rashford. is getting a little nod there and all that. Marcus lot. Rashford and Mark Hughes. Oh my, my God. Mate, that's got everything you need. Everything you need, honestly. That has Sorry, been sick. Danny. Sorry. Didn't make it. <laughs> Bob Bates says, Jay, how can you not include Blackmore? 1991 Cup Winners Cup left. But um, forgive me, cleared it off the line as well. Do you know what I mean? The greatest achievement in the history of football. Sorry. But Put him on the bench. Yeah, he can go on the bench. Yeah. I said Na- Corby Maynor. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah, Rashford's in my team, you know. Would you stick Corby Maynor in your team, though? Nah, nah, not yet. Speaking of Corby Maynor. Go on. Go on. Was out with my cousin last night. Oh, I thought you were going to no. say he was out with Corby oh, Maynor no, last no. night. I was about to say and it's another Adnan Yanazai scenario. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like 10 years younger than me. Right, Definitely so, not. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, so... She was talking to me about um, one of her mates. She was like, oh, one of my mates, her brother plays for United. She's like, I think his last name begins with an A. And I'm like, what, first team? I'm like, A? A? I'm trying to like, it was Cobby Maney's sister, basically. Really? Yeah, she was at a birthday party a few ah, months ago. Right. I was like, well, yeah, cause, we'll um, uh, cultivate that relationship. <laughs> yeah, become best. Probably best not to say it on a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Just before trying. <laughs> um, Maybe. Few, yeah, she's still working on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, someone's saying Ravel. In Ravel. terms of talent, right? Tom Cleverly. The most talented player I've ever seen. Ravel. In the academy. Mm. Add everything. Someone said, Ange, keep your hands off, copy, behave. Um, oh, no, sorry, guys. Nas <laughs> Afelele says, Angel Gomez. Angel oh, Gomez. Yeah. Axel Tuanzebe, another shot. Someone said, Somebody's based off pure talent, Mason Greenwood gets in, and they're probably right, but yeah. Yeah, but, yeah we all know the reason. Oh, Hazalf says, Darren Gibson, you spelled it wrong, by the way. Oh, yes, we don't know. <sighs> I used to love the G. Scored in, a, scored in a Champions League semi final against Manuel Neuer. Schalke. Yeah. Raul, did, was Raul playing for them then? I think he was, you know. He was, wasn't he? Anderson and Darren Gibson scored. Yeah. That was the most ridiculous Champions League semi final ever. Because Someone we said, can't believe no Ben Foster. Ben Foster never came from our academy. We bought he was him. at Stoke mm. and yeah, Wrexham we before us, wasn't it? Come on, man. Yeah. We bought him and then we sold him. You know, you have to get right. a, lot, a couple a lot earlier than Do that. Do you know what I mean? Hey, Nick Culkin, there's one for you. Oh, pretty, oh, I okay. played with Nick Culkin and Clayton Blackmore, you know. You might be playing with him again soon. Um, Clayton Blackmore? No, Nick Culkin. Oh. We did a Nick Culkin, uh, uh, Clayton Blackmore still got it. 
Has it? He was fizzing free kicks in him. He was so good. And we had David May. Our team got the short straw, man. I had David May. You don't catch lift it anymore. Anthony Crawler. And you've seen how boxers run. They run weird, man. Right. Um, boxers playing football is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. They... Yeah, so harsh because they run Ant, really. Like, me. I know, I know what you mean. I love Ant. Come yeah, on, Ant, Ant's, Ant's the like our, mate, our had. best. We had David May. What was this for, by the way? It's for some betting company against like a city team that had like Paul Dickov and Richard Go. Dunn and Meg Richard Dunn. Good lad. Um, and someone else anyway. But yeah, Clayton Blackmore was the best one there. Really? Like he still had it. Still had it. Do you know why I think he'd be good as well? Because even when he was playing. For United, he wasn't a player that was built around pace mm. or and he was like I mean, he was he was a bit of a bigger lad, wasn't he? Mm. So it was his free kicks, his long balls, his passes, his reading oh, of the game that helps him. Do you know what I mean? So you can tell someone either isn't listening or just joined us, Nicky Butterhead of Bobby Charlton. All right, yeah, because I seen Bobby Charlton play. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Clayton M, who's been a member of the first team for 44 months, says, love the channel, love the paddock. Line up, cut, bench, start, Italian, Chinese, Homestead, Burger Chain, I'm overseas. Chris Eagles. <laughs> Chris Eagles. Hey, do you remember the 4-2 against Devon? Yeah, and he was nearly falling over while he was hitting it, yeah. which is really oh, weird. Mate, those were the days, weren't they? Hey. Um, Chris oh, Eagles did have promise. <laughs> Andrew Johnson says, Gordon Hill, Steve Koppel. I think we bought both of them. <laughs> so... Other than so, that, so over two. <laughs> yeah, other than that, though, spot great shout. Um, there's a few. Uh, James Wilson. Do you remember James Wilson, man? He was Jimmy Wilson. He's at Salford City now, Jimmy isn't he? Wilson. He, no, I think. Well, Wrexham. He was. Salford City. Is that one of those teams? Yeah, I think he was at Salford. I don't think he's there anymore. Dong Fang Zhu. Someone said. Oh uh, yeah. Do you remember him? Was it, he got yeah. a brace in it that time? Injuries. Paul Vale. Injuries Paul. to James Wilson and Will Keane. Without those, we oh, don't have Will Marcus Keen. Rashford. Will Keane, yeah. Good shout. His brother Michael Keane? Yeah. He, he fell off a bit, didn't he? Man? Someone Keen said Nick Powell, yeah. but he came from crew. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's still, he's still good, James Wilson. Did you know Go Peter on. Beardsley was at our academy? Yeah. No, he wasn't at our academy. He was bought in by Ron Atkinson. Oh, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say was, did you know he was at United before yeah. he got yeah. big? Yeah, because Ron Atkinson brought him in. <clears> he <throat> played a few games and then we decided not to keep him. Because he was shy. Yeah, and then he went on to be one of the best <laughs> strikers ever. We had Garth Crooks as well. Robbie Savage was Academy, yeah. Yeah, Fraser Campbell. He Someone said Liam Miller, but he came from Celtic, didn't he? Yeah, Liam I Miller? think we bought Liam Miller. Liam Miller, right, was sold R. to Duffy at RIP, um, Liam Miller, because he brought, was brought in mm. and people saying he's the next Roy Keane. Yeah, that was unfair. Like what? Difficult start. Yeah, yeah. Like that's. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't the Silver that. Twins count. They they played for our because they mm. came when they were sixteen. Mm. So I think if yeah. you're going to count people like Pepe Rossi and Pereira. Federico, Makeda, yeah, yeah. Andreas Pereira, you have to. Because like that's yeah. Because players can come in at sixteen, can't they? And like you can still. Count Pogba came in at sixteen yeah. from yeah. La Havre. So his best came in when he was sixteen, didn't it? Right. Yeah. Memory yeah, sorts. people. Yeah, we can include people. Yeah. Well, What's the one academy player that you was convinced was going to make it that didn't? Giuseppe Rossi. Really? Yeah. Obviously, you got the Ravals and stuff. But, but the thing with Ravel, there was always them. a big doubt about yeah, whether yeah, and he you've could. got like yeah because there wasn't talent. Everyone knew he had the talent. It was this this kid is a little bit off key. Is Fergie going to stomach it? Probably not, and he didn't. I remember mm. Rossi going to Newcastle and Lone and just feeling like. This isn't the right move because they no. were chopping and changing managers quite regularly. And then that's what happened while he was there. Yeah. He gets injured. New manager comes in while he's injured. Don't want him. Don't play. And then look how good he was at Villa. Like, imagine the low move worked. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of player yeah, we would have had. A, it it would have been ridiculous. That's the thing in it with like, like low moves. There's a few where you think, like Makeda. He went on loan, didn't he? It's everywhere. And he kept going on loan. Cardiff. And stopped scoring. And like he wasn't scoring any goals. Right. And you think, yeah. why is he not getting any goals? Like It's, it's, different, it's difficult for a striker as well because it's like, you can tell straight away, can't you? How are they scoring goals? I know it's not only about goals, but are they scoring goals? Because some players, like if you're a defender on midfield, you can think, okay, they might be doing all right. Mm. But if you're going on loan and you're not scoring. It's like, I felt sorry for Charlie McNeil because he was playing for the academy, uh, for the under-21s last night. He's Liverpool, and he had a couple of low moves. He went to Newport, I think, didn't he? And um, oh, didn't he score in his first game? Yeah, he did. Mm. But then um, he had a bit of a difficult time of it. I someone an said David Petrucci, what a name from the past. He was there around the same time as Giuseppe Rossi, Ryan Tunnicliffe. I remember his dad having a I bet on him playing. Ryan yeah. Remember that playing yeah. for Man United's first team. 
He was, mate, he was mint. Ronnie Woolworth. Did you never think to do that with any of your kids? What, put Try a bet on? I was going to, and I forgot. Because like, you do it when you have kids, you think, right? Oh, yeah, because the odds have dropped now, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus. you can still do it. <laughs> you can cash now. out for two yeah, grand, Jay, on that. Now, yeah. it's it's even even <laughs> it, it was 8 to 1. Now it's like, it's, it's, you know. Odds have gone up after he two, lost today. Two, yeah, he lost today. It was a derby as well. It's his old team. He lost to his old team. Fuck's oh. Earlham lost to Caddy Zed. He used to play for Caddy Zed. And he did me in because he was being all friendly Boo. with his old teammates. You know, in the game. Like, did like, he get called like, Judas? Did they nah, have a banner? Like, They've all been pally in that. <laughs> I was like, trouble. yeah. Yeah, getting shot. Hey. It's like, don't be all mate with them. Yeah, yeah don't Come do on, that. man. Like, it's too Time nice to fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Elbow a few of them. I mean? David so. Healy, someone said. David what Healy. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. Do you remember that song? Yeah, but he got some Little Lord Jesus lay down his uh, sweet head. The, the players are out. The stars in the, the bright sky look down where he lay, he lay, he lay, he lay. <laughs> do you remember, you remember the Henningberg chant, don't we? No. Go on. I'm not, you may remind well, me. What was it. the head? I forgot. Like, the... I remember when Wes Brown said, you don't remember my first chant. And I went, nah. And he told yeah. us it. And I remembered yeah. it. I knew it. Da, 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 da. Henningberg. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Henningberg was sat here. Right. And I said that to him. And he was like, no. Because <laughs> some songs oh. threw me even further under the bus and went, yeah, I don't remember that either. Oh, no. Now, nah, because some songs don't make pie. it off buses and that yeah. sometimes. And then I was sat here, like, going red, thinking, you okay, know. And then, like, one person in the chat went, I remember that, Jay. <laughs> yeah. So I said, oh, the chat, loads of people in the did chat. You message Varney, of did you actually message Varney on the slide and been like, get, get, get in the, the chat. chat. Now, quick, everyone, <laughs> this is not a drill. Get in the chat and say you remember it. But in like, the family group chat. Yeah, no, no, quick, it. come on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Um, wasn't Ben Amos hyped up, says uh, BR Bot. Mm. Not really. What happened to him? Ben he Amos. ended up at like... He went like Wigan or somewhere like that. He mm. had a decent stretch at a club like that, and then he just kept dropping down the leagues. Because I, I, I'm sure he ended up at somewhere like Salford at some point. Mm. Mate, Salford have everyone. Yeah, Darren anyone. Gibson went Salford. Anyone James that Wilson played at the United Salford. Academy. Yeah, like he's honestly. part of your like you know. Yeah, see, was that is that Wigan now? Sorry. Someone said Danny Simpson in the, in the oh, chat. No, mate. Do you remember? Um, I like Danny Simpson. Eccles finest. I remember back at, like, not back in the day, like, it wasn't even that long ago. Josh King, he was at one point. Norwegian. Josh yeah. King. A lot of talk Josh about King. him, yeah. Then we were going to buy him back, weren't we? Mm. Remember what the funny thing was, right? We were going to buy Josh King back. And we got Adioni Gala. And then it was like, did I can't believe we're going for Josh King. For Bournemouth right. at one point, I was Yeah, like, no, yeah. it was, yeah, and then instead we got Igalo. It was like the, 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 <laughs> the one you get when you can't get Josh King. <laughs> and I have no disrespect to the king, but come on. And you're like, hang on a minute. Mm. It was bad enough when I thought we were getting Josh King. The <laughs> thing with Agarlo, though, is we all bought into it because he was such a likeable guy. Yeah. With his little United pyjamas on, where he lined up his whole family in his pyjamas. I oh, know, yeah. I'm, I'm I've all got about time for that. Question, sick question. Go on, bro. Ben Amos has played for three teams that have the word athletic in their name. Right. What are the three teams? Right, Wigan's oh, got to be one because you said it. It's not going to be any overseas. Teams. No, 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 no. Not like athletic Bill Bell. No. Right, the only athletics I can think of Oldham? is Springs. Oldham, yes. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Two or three. This is a shit question, man. Wigan, Oldham. Uh, oh, who else is not athletic? Um, don't show that. <laughs> 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 He's been looking at them, them uh, websites there. It's been hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is um, athletic? Ethan, any down south? Is there any? Uh, who else has got the athletic in the in the name? How old are you, by the way? Oh, <laughs> he, 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 he I'm does trying to think of the This is really south, easy. Athletic. Like you're missing the easy one. Well, Wigan was the easiest because I kept talking. Games kicked off, by the way. Um. Oh. Oh shit, an honor. Oh, it's a good pass in the end. Fucking hey, hours of touch, son. Go on. I can't, oh. Former Premier League team. Well done, uh, well Ethan. Well done, uh, producer Ethan. Athletic. Yeah, I forgot about them. That might be all the teams in Athletic in there, name. I can't think of any. My mind went blank, to no. be honest with you. I was all in on Wigan. I wonder uh, if he's the only one to have completed them. <laughs> <laughs> completely Athletic. Yeah, he's right. completely athletic. <laughs> right and wrong, uh, has been a member of the first team 44 months. Thank you for your support. Says, uh, I remember when a certain Nick Powell was going to be the greatest player of all time. He's at Stockport County now. He's doing well, though, just been promoted. Trond, who's been a member of the first team for 39 months, says uh, 2 3 Bruno times 2 and Casemiro for a header. Very specific. He scored here last season, didn't he? Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro, sorry, yeah. Yeah, he was man of the match. It was like him. a little half bicycle kick, wasn't it? 
He'd had a bit of a bad spell. Mm. And he's well, he's had a bad spell like recently. Yeah, yes, it's not been a great season for him. To be fair, this season he looks a bit old. I, I think. I, I think you know after he face. got suspended against Palace, the wheels have fallen off a bit, haven't they? Yeah. With that move. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like just everything that could go wrong, and it, some of the things have been unfortunate, like a few sendings off and things like that. But but anything that has been gone wrong there's an alternative universe wrong. where he doesn't get one red card like and we win the league yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. but like the <laughs> Will Hughes one was so harsh Better. yeah because Rodri done it no Rodri got sent off someone else did it recently yeah. and didn't get sent off no and then there was the one against Southampton which again was harsh because in the Chelsea he won the ball didn't before, he yeah there was an identical challenge which wasn't punished at all so there's that the Galatasaray one it's like he didn't really have a chance though Nana sold him a bit of a duffer mm. It's like uh, I do, but well, then sometimes when but you then watch sometimes his passing is erratic. And when you watch him, like sometimes he slides in and dives in, and you think, "What are you doing?" Because he's so early with his bag out of ground. I'm on the red. Anyway, you two didn't predict your your scores anyway. I'm going to change. I did say I we went lose on, on the, the uh, prediction. I video. said we lose on the prediction. Jesus I think. No, you went nil. Oh no, I went no, no. That You've was been it. calling me miserable today. I'm not. I didn't call you. Well, I'm starting to call you miserable. Well, you suggested I was a bit. Uh, you know, I, I've never. No, no and here you are thing. predicting we lose against the. I did. I saw it. I predicted a nil-nil draw. Nil. Right. I went two nil. Nil-nil win. No, no, win, yeah. Um, Dave Lewis says, nice to see our Maka back. What current United player would you like to play poker with and would you split tens on Blackjack? 3-1 today to United. Split tens on Blackjack. I don't, I don't know Blackjack, so probably. Um, I've heard Luke Shaw loves it. Yeah? Yeah, allegedly. Right, okay. Luke Shaw loves a bit of poker is what I've heard, so yeah. wouldn't mind that. But who, who would be good fun? Because the thing with poker tables is, if people don't talk, it can get very serious very quickly. And Do you talk? I like to talk to people or just at least engage. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And like have a little chat because otherwise you could be sat there for 12 hours. If, right, if, it's, a tournament. Go for. if it's a tournament and you're into the end of the day, yeah, I will not you could be sat, obviously you'll have like breaks lunch. during. I was going to say, you yeah. must get like a little Like every two break. hours you'll have a break <laughs> or something. <laughs> but you sat there for a long time. You sat there for a long, long time. You sat there for a long, long time. You need like a flask and some like buttons and stuff. Nah, there's... Waitresses and waiters and stuff, oh, with drinks like, and oh, food yeah. and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, so it's, it's good fun, but like, I like a table where everyone's like, oh, yeah, you want a drink? Well, yeah, yeah, you know, a little nice bit of little chat. Is there like an etiquette that you can talk too much? You, uh, so if someone's got cards and they're making a decision, don't talk to them. Right, it's right. usually the thing. So like, if you if you sometimes if you're in a conversation with someone and they've got they're about to make a decision, they'll just stop talking to you and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut fuck up. Okay. Okay. Right, but. Okay. As long as you just be quiet, it's fine at that yeah. point. Okay. Um, but yeah. So who would be good like chat? I reckon who would be a good chat? Oh no, our team seems pretty. No, there's no one else. I don't know. I mean, you know, Johnny more, Evans. Right? Yeah, yeah, good old Johnny Evans. Uh, David Taylor says, "All right, Jay, great show. Night four, night five season will all, always be the season I've never got over. Last game of the season and ever in the cup final. Paul Rideout. How can I forget? Horrible. You know who looks like a poker player? Go on." Like, Ras like you see a lot of like Scandinavian yeah. fellas and that playing, yeah. that, like have their hoods up and yeah, like. all that, like quite serious. Like Rasmus Hoyland could be one of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be no good at poker, man. I'm too obvious and I'd be too, like, so, and I'm too impatient. Too much no, work. but I've, I've got yeah, a I'm not crap at maths. Well, well, you just, just look constantly me, miserable. Yeah, yeah, that's. that's just that's have that's me constantly. No, no, it's, it's well established. I'm not being in, in, like insulting. <laughs> now I, I like, embrace it at yeah, this point. So and she's like, you know, I have a resting bitch face. Yeah, you and do. I'm man. all right with yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. It would, it could serve me well if I start to play poker. <laughs> so yeah, Girl, girls can have an advantage at poker as well because men always try and or, or, like they just don't believe in it. So yeah. like. You know, if a woman has a good hand and they're yeah. betting and betting, like sometimes fellas just don't. You see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, so they play differently against women. Oh, and yeah, sometimes yeah, it can exactly. benefit women a lot. So get yourself on the old oh, no. poker tables, man. That's where the money is to be made. Uh, hit that like button, please, people. Let's get to a thousand likes. Uh, oh, my Lord. What are we doing? Noodle VR says United are rubbish. Um, that's a good point. Well made. Yeah. Just the low air trying to play out here. Is Manu in the middle? Not really got going so far. Oh, That's no. it. Who was that then? Casemiro, who do you think? Oh, Jesus, in the middle. What's going on with wet? that pitch there? Is that ball popped or is it oh. wet? Or is no, it dry? Wet, I think. Is it dry? Was that dust coming up off the pitch? I thought it was warm. It is warm down south today. Was it? 18 degrees it's in London. Yeah. Was, that there? Oh, was that dust? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was. 
Are they playing at the beach? Is that sand? <laughs> What's going on? That, That's got to be water. Something definitely water. Like, can't be dust. That's a lot of dust. <laughs> dust. That. So I'm playing on some pitches camera. like that. Not playing in the attic. <laughs> I'm um, playing on some pitches. Stay like in this pitch. It's not been used for twenty oh years. Oh dear, Kobe Mayne who got caught oh out there. Oh my lord, lord. Oh, lord, they're in here. Oh. It's probably gone too far. There, he should have had the chance. <gasps> oh, he should have shot earlier there, lad. Glad he didn't. Fucking Solanke can pull off. Told you this going to score today. Kobe Mayne there. Started to cut off him. The pass was easy. Yeah. And then. He, he just gets crowded out. Solanke there, just sort of trying to. Is that a corner? Oh, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a goal kick. No, it was a throw in. <coughs> Have it. Oh, man. <sighs> Ipswich drew. Does that mean for the, the championship table? Looks so like no one wants to get promoted, nobody. doesn't it? <laughs> like Ipswich are top losing. by a point, but Leicester have a game in hand on them. Yeah, because um, Leicester were flying at one yeah. point. 17 points clear. Off, yeah. yeah. It's great to see Leeds losing. Yeah, always. Go on. Oh, he should have went to Garnacho. That was good play by um, Rasmus. Go on, Rashford. Skin. Rashford. Go on, son. Go on. Go on, lad. Oh, oh lucky. Oh, son there. All that dust getting in the bloody way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care who gets promoted? Do you want to see Ipswich because of Kieran McKenna? Ipswich and Leicester. I can do without Leeds yet. Just make him suffer yeah. a little bit more. Do you like it when Leeds are in the Premier League? Because if it's been a while, like yeah. you know when they came up last time, it was like it's been it a while. It was a good one because we battered him. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's that bring him funny. back. Like yeah. they waited so long. Let to him play suffer United. for a bit. Yeah. Just got battered. Give it about two years, and I'll be like, yeah, bring yeah, because yeah. they are like proper rivals, aren't they, Leeds? I hate them. Yeah. I love your Leeds stories of just like the abuse that you. Oh, Ellen Rose, yeah. Jesus Christ, <coughs> never, never yeah, again. That Honestly, old woman, that old woman. But yeah. Spitting, racism, yeah. Munich, Lit the lot. She went for full the house. Yeah, remember. she went for a full house. Because I remember yeah. when you first bingo. told them. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, well, well done. <laughs> so I remember the first time you told the story, Leeds had, was just getting promoted and you was like, I hope she's not lived to see him get promoted. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they were getting relegated, you were like, actually, I hope she is alive so she's seen him get promoted and then get relegated. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Yeah, it was honestly. But, but I've never to been be honest, like it. you was, was you was bang was, on the money, was, yeah. It was minging. Like, and, we and hope like, that she's still going, yeah. so that she sees him get close to promotion this I, season, and then still not make it. I hope she's enjoying it like that. Lad off that watch along. <laughs> hey, he was classing. Which one? You've not seen that one where oh, Lad loses his mind. If you oh, haven't seen that video, you don't follow Jay. Yeah, I post that video at least <laughs> once a week. <laughs> right, this is this is like these leads channels like there's three of them i might have done I don't Do you know it's like during lockdown when we beat him six two yeah so they've got like these three different channels like three different sort yeah. of zooms uh, zoom calls on the screen that's poor all, way, all teamed up that was not a foul. Mm. no and um they're doing the build up to the game it's united versus leeds obviously the first time they played us in 17 years whatever it is in the premier league mm. they're all giddy they're all giving the predictions yeah da, 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 da. anyway scott mctomley scores twice in the first two, three minutes whatever it is there's a guy who's on the, the screen with his missus Right, and he loses. Ah, it. I think I have seen I it. I mean, he loses it, doesn't it? <laughs> fuck it up! Fuck it out! Fuck it out. Right. Is she He's just done. sat there, dead <laughs> yeah. awkward. She's like that. She's yeah. like trying to protect him from himself. Do you know what I mean? And then the, I think they just turn the, the like to close the laptop Ooh. or whatever. Like, is that? I did worry for her after that. Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone do a like welfare She's, check yeah, on her? Yeah, the channel's still going. She's fine. Right. Okay. But it was hilarious because they'd spent so long as well going on about how they were going to do us and all this nonsense, and then they just got like after three minutes, it was over. I rated it. Over. Cut the stream off. Yeah. Like, that was so good, that. That season was so weird, wasn't it? There's some Liverpool fans that did that. I forgot what the channel is, so I can't give them a shout out. But there's some Liverpool fans watching the cup game, and Ahmad scored, and there's three of them on the screen. And two of them were like, Call you, man, I'm out. <laughs> 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 Just left one of them on his own. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to respect that, like. Do you know what I mean? I prefer that to the performance. It was like us with, you know, Everton. Mate, that was... Bad. Where me, you, Joe, just stopped talking for 10 minutes. When, when Calvert-Lewin scored in the last minute. That was like, you knew we weren't winning the title, right? That was <coughs> like... The, that, I know we probably weren't anyway, but like, you still had hope. That killed that it. That killed it, yeah. So it was me and Joe sat here, and there was just silence for like a minute, and then Joe just went, it's finished for real. It's all right. It's just like... Uh, Luke H says, fan base needs to deal with many new errors. Elephant in the room, that's it's going to happen like any other player. I mean, it does happen, but he more than makes up for it. Yeah. I get your point. Like, I think sometimes people think like, oh, he's infallible, but 
He's still learning As a his United craft. Fan, Played lads. Do you want him Played lads. going that was to good. the Euros? I good. do now. Because mm. Mainu. Mainu. Because I think if he doesn't. From a like, United perspective. Go on. Go on. <gasps> oh, that's go on. That. Go on, Diogo. Go on, Cobby. Penalty. Penalty. Penalty, ref. I can't go. Tell what is going on with his pitch. Is it slip? I don't know. It's impossible to tell what's going on. Mainu went down in the box there. It looked so like, like it does. might have been something. But yeah. <laughs> No, oh, no. <laughs> he slips, and to be fair, he gets straight up and tries to get back. It's not yeah. like he dives, but it's all yeah, like you say, Mac. It's a pitch is full of dust. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? <laughs> Eric and I don't know what he's moaning for there. Come on, he can't be asking for a penalty for that. That ref looks like old. You can just know, know that Ten Hag like proper goes in on his complaints in a restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not one of them like, oh, yeah, it was lovely. Be like, listen, this was wrong. This was wrong. And then she, her starter yeah. was dodgy, wasn't it? Tell him about your starter. Like... He calls her over the way and points at the player. Yeah. What's wrong with this? Yeah. Hey. But he makes everyone else at the table like complain oh as well. Like, tell them what was wrong with yours. Do you reckon, Do you reckon yeah. he's that guy? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... F when he's dining he's with Fergie. pushing again. someone in the back. Go on, out. that will have that. Go on, oh, no, mate. Right, this is a bit of a weird camera as well here. I, it's difficult to tell what's going on. I see why Joe sits here now, though. You have a full view of the telly. Yeah. There's no cameras in your way. No, but like, you know, like the, on, the angle of this Marcus. game. Yeah. From Skinny. Oh, fucking hell. Go on, bully him. Go on. Go on, lad. Go on, Rasmus. Go on, Go on fucking Done well there. Rasmus. Down the left-hand side here. Go on, actual. Oh. I think when you've got the sun like that enough, it's in shade. Yeah, it doesn't help as well. Yeah. United looking and a lot more possession over the last five minutes. Get involved in the chat in the comments. Make sure you are hitting that like button as well. For those worried, uh, Jay is is wearing clothes today. He's not topless. I am topless. fully clothed. All right, look, you see what I see shirt on <laughs> underneath. And then this is a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come out topless. Twatted it. <sighs> Diogo had a bad one against Chelsea, didn't he? <sighs> Mate. Mate. Like I, 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 I say Diogo. that because he's been pretty good. Yeah. But he had a bad one against Chelsea. Yeah. He did. He did, didn't he? That was probably his worst game this that season. That was, yeah. And you could see, like, he was devastated. Really style. Oh, he had to get that right, and he did. What's this here? We've got a little milestone. <laughs> <laughs> say what you see. The old girl he sets out. What's that, mate? Go, Mackie. You're gonna have to read that. I'm not gonna be readers on. Does he want? <laughs> does he want me to read it, or is he trying to put it up himself? Because it's not even on the screen yet. <laughs> oh, bit back. of in inside info. Or is it his hundredth game? His hundredth Premier League game today. Not Premier League game. That's what it said, didn't it? Can't be Premier League game. Is yeah. His hundredth Premier League game. Yeah. His hundredth Premier League game. <laughs> 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 as you can see all smooth it's all bit, seamless it's a bit of a shock hey what's going on here like, there's nothing work. wrong with that at all they've given a foul they've given a foul honestly no they haven't alright I was about to say because Harry Maguire just literally just heads the ball oh, about he didn't even have his arms out Django I'm going to put my phone away because I can see group chats and it's just oh, people no. moaning Oh, yeah. Group it's shit no, no, I've not had anything right. in the group chat, but I yeah. am. Yeah. No, group chats are, are the, the worst. The worst is whenever, if I watch, like, the Liverpool game, I was watching it on my laptop at home yeah. um, live, but there is a slight delay to TV. Right. So my mum was watching it, right. and she's messaging me like, shit, and I'm like, well, <laughs> is that good or bad or, like, <coughs> yeah, it's a bit stressful. She wasn't even watching the game. Yeah, just, just like messaging shit. Ange. Telling me I'm shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bournemouth. That's, that's yeah, what you're getting, one of all. Oh, Kambala's all over oh, the gaff. Lord. Oh, oh what? Kambala's that getting memed now. Dominic Solanke there. Kambala's had a bad time there. It was like that goal yesterday. Who fell over yesterday, Van der Ven? Today. Today. Yeah. Oh. Commentator's curse of Van der Ven, wasn't it? Oh, Solanke as well, man. Of all the people. And now, yeah, now I can see it all over here. That was probably what that was in my group chat. I just saw it in the summit come up. I didn't see what it was. Do you know what? You don't deserve to be winning if that's how you celebrate a goal. See all them lot there? It's like, oh, yeah, well done. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. And there's a load of Since when did he become stuff. really good? 
know. He's not really good. We're just really shit. That's a good point. Well, he's banging. To be fair, he's been banging him in this season. Yeah. Just a few errors there. I think is it Ganacho bad touch. Ball comes through. Kambuala against Solanke and he just Ooh. slips over. Is that but dust, even then, man? It's that dust. It is that 20 dust. yards out it is that dust, and it's a finish man. to be fair to the kid. That dust. that dust is a disgrace. Look, it's kicking up dust all over again. Yeah, you can't have a dusty pitch like that. It's a better ground at Aintree. Dusty baller. Trust me. You are. It's a better ground at Aintree. No, it's terrible, isn't it? Shocking. But I mean, he's got twisted up there. Oh, my God. I reckon no. I've done the pitch on purpose like this. Let's put a load of dust in it. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking hell, man. Of Sick of this nonsense, man. We're it's all shit. part of the master plan to not and get your open conference. Yeah. Yeah. Eric knows what he's doing. Versus it's 4D liars. chess. What was that tune we used to sing? We won't win the league. We won't win the cup. We're Man United. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's his seventeenth Premier League goal, by the way, this season. Cup. Dominic Solanke. We're Man United. We don't give a fuck. We won't win a league. We won't win a cup. We're Man United. We don't give a fuck. There we go. We won't win a league. He sang. We won't Someone win asked a me to cup. sing at the beginning. Yeah, they did. Me and Mac are singing there for you. We won't give a cup. Right, go on, Diogo. Into these cherry Great bastards. Great name for Manx, his name, isn't it? Diogo. Diogo. That's, I like Diogo Delo. Oh, oh what a ball. Yeah, I, oh. Oh. It's unlucky, that. Who was that? Garnacho. Don't call my name. Don't call my name. <laughs> Alejandro. It's Maguire. Marcus. Come on. Is man. Lady Gaga in the new Joker film? She is. What's all that about? I know. Why, why does that bother you? What's all that about? Is she an actress? I know she was in Sopranos at one time. Mate. Go on, hey, Marcus! Go, Marcus! Yo! Oh, side netting. Um, I love the fact you go, I know she was in the Sopranos at one time from a cameo 20 years ago Did as a reference to her acting career. Was she was in A Star Is Born. Have you not seen that? Yeah, I've not seen it, but I've heard about it. Chappelle's in that great cameo from him. Um, What's A Star Is Born? Uh, it's a film with Bradley it Cooper. Bradley Cooper, yeah. Oh. In, is it a remake of a, yeah. of a film? Yeah, it's been yeah. made three times. Um, yeah, she's been in a few films. She, she, she does she all that. A, did she win an Oscar for is that? she only in films or she has to sing? the music sing? side of it? Uh, <laughs> I'll have a look. Is she always like playing a singer? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to have a look in now on film, she was Wikipedia because she was a singer oh, in that. Oh, Lord, they're in here. Oh, she was in Fuck that Gucci hell. one. She oh, yeah. No, she didn't sing in the Gucci one. What's going on here? Bloody hell. Bournemouth down the, he would have given a penalty away. Down the left hand side. Did they hit there. the post there? Go oh, on, go oh. on, Cobby. Go on, Cobby. Oh, he's so good. That's a foul. Huh? Ref, you on crack? That's a foul right in front of you. He's touched the ball past the player and got nipped. That's a foul. It's disgusting, that. Forget him. Fuck that. Play on, lads. He's not even got a filmography on it. I'm trying to find what. Don't give them the ball back now. It's not an head injury. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Don't do none of that nonsense. Oh, here's the ball back, mate. Oh, yeah, I hear all that. Pathetic. Mate, this is what We're so shit, man. Proper shit, haven't we? Yeah, she was all right in that house of Gucci. Yeah. She's, she she's singing out. it. No. Mate, it's, so he's done well there. Oh no, but it's right at him. To be fair, I don't think he could. Have that done. goes in. I'm kidding. yeah. That's one of them. He's just done what he needed to do. <sighs> what? Just give these lot the ball back now. Oh, yeah, How you, the fucking you, Bournemouth you, doing a double over us? Seriously, mean, they've got about you, eight like, fans. This is a joke, man. This season's so so shit. The best thing we could do is lose the commentary. I'm telling you, cause it's gonna get worse. Don't give him the ball back, you soft twat. You soft oh, twat. Did you, uh, did you see the other day Fucking against the Scousers when Casemiro kicks off because Diaz was on the floor? I couldn't believe what we I was We didn't watching. have to give them the ball that back there. What is all this friendliness, man? No, man. 67% possession. It just Fanny holes. For who, United? Yeah. It's one of them, innit? It wasn't a head injury. They kicked the ball out the themselves. The ref Bournemouth didn't again the down his left-hand side. The ref didn't stop the game. Now it's 2 Oh, Dickheads. Just wide there. I mean... United need to get a grip, which is what I've said basically every single fucking game this season. But we're all at sea here again defensively. Shot there. Mm. 
I mean, to be honest, it's one of them actually. It's probably at least two yards wide, but mm. that's good effort. That. Mm. Get involved in the chat in the comments. Let us know what you think about the game so far. Uh, Fabi Wan says mid table FC. <laughs> uh, Adam says our best players are kids. Uh, Gordy B six 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 says Hoyland needs to start making some intelligent runs. He's driving his teammates nuts hiding. I mean, our teammates can't pass wind. I know, man. I don't think it's necessarily Hoyland hiding. <sighs> Come on, man. Just never get going. It's just like it's so shit. Um, Ross Toner says, can someone explain why they're playing in a swamp? I don't know mm. what's going on here. Get out of my swamp. Uh, Shmuel Bloody. says, <laughs> everything about this ground is wank. Oh, is he We've got one pound parking though, which is really good. Oh, there you go, there's one. There's and it's right place. outside the ground. Oh, he's, uh, Class. Perfect. He's batteries and because there's not many people that go to the game there, like capacity is like 800. Yeah. You always get good 5G as well. The referee's had enough. He's fucked off down the tunnel. <laughs> the ref has literally I mean, gone off down the tunnel. Can, can we do the same? Yeah. Call it here, lads. Yeah. I think everyone would be happy. Abandon the yeah, game because of dust. Yeah. Uh, we need to check the Premier League rules on that. Dusty ballers. Can you just abandon a game? That's yeah. some point and forfeit it. Yeah, why not? Meta United 88 says, best game you've seen live for atmosphere and drama. Oh. I ain't gonna lie to you. The atmosphere and drama combined, it would have to be Manchester United 4, Manchester City 3. Good shout. Mm. The Liverpool game the other week weren't far off it, you know. Yeah. It was up there. I don't think... You, uh, you know what the thing is, yeah? Go on. This, this team makes... Like, we've had moments like that where you feel something. Yeah. It's very fleeting. Mm. And, it, and by the end of the season, you're like, well, actually, we got smashed by City in the final. So, yeah. fuck off. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is the only point I can enjoy it. Because, you know what? That sort of taints the 4-3 for me against City. We didn't win anything. Yeah, that annoys me. Because we didn't win the league. Because we got robbed that off was just Chelsea. A great day. You've also got us beat again. We didn't win it. We got battered in the next round, in the next leg. But when we beat Milan, that was. Oh, amazing. mate, you've nailed that. I love that. I love Rooney that. Game. In the last Rooney minute. in the last minute. That atmosphere. And when you look at like the players that were on the pitch, pumping. Kaka Ballon d'Or winner. Mate, didn't you have had. like Gabriel Hines and John O'Shea's our two centre backs. Where's Brown played right back? Didn't yeah, he? it was mate. It was mate. Evra was left back. Hines sure, and O'Shea. Yeah, because yeah. I think like Rio and Vidic were both out, weren't they? Yeah. And Macaca had the game of his life. Oh. Well, he made uh, Heinz or whatever run into each other, didn't he? Yeah, it was horrible. And then we rushed him back, didn't we, for the return, like they weren't fit. And it all went wrong. That's 3 0 in the pouring oh, down oh, rain in the sand. Do you know what, though? Part of me was kind of relieved. Because I thought, I can't cope with us losing a Champions League final to the, against the Scousers. Oh, I know we could have yeah. beat him. We'd have beat that team. Do you reckon? Because if we'd have lost that final, that would have been the worst moment of my life. That would have been bad, though. Yeah. And at least Milan beat him. Yeah. I can live with that. Come on, United. Come on, let's get going. Oh, shit, man. Playing it around the You know what's mad, yeah? Bournemouth are beating us and their fans don't even care anymore. No. No. It's not even a thing now. Like, is of it? course, we're beating Man United. <laughs> you remember, like, it's not that scalp. They'd have got booed off if it was nil nil that half time. Yeah. It's not that scalp it used to be. Like, no Bournemouth fans are going home from this one, and we'll remember this one for yeah, a long time. Do you remember time. that day when we beat United? Which one? We've done it twice this season. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. The one at Old Trafford was bad enough. You know, my little my daughter went to that. She just, it was a birthday present. Crying. Seven. Crying. Ten, seven, yeah. They left after like an hour. Crying. In the rain, <sighs> I remember. Yeah, I, it's tough being in. I used to go to like ten games a season. Yeah, and what's ten wins early on? So I never really used to see United lose. And then the first time I saw United lose at Old Trafford was Di Canio one nil in the cup. Well, that one. Oh one. And I remember one. leaving like. Remember. Barters. You know when you see the movies and a bomb goes off and people yeah. are like that ringing in their ears and they're just all. That's yeah. how I left Old Trafford confused. And now, like, it's like, yeah, yeah, we lost again. Do you know what? It's like, she went to that Bournemouth game, right? I took my lad to the Bayern Munich game, like, a week later or whatever. And I remember they were arguing with each other who had it worse. Like, <laughs> my daughter's like, I went to watch United, we got beat 3-0 on my birthday. And my lad was like, I watched us get knocked out of Europe. And it wasn't even the Europa League we ended up in. We were knocked out of Europe. Mm. I was like, oh, my God. This is a nightmare. Well, honestly, this was meant to be easy. Yeah, this you should have went. 
Don't worry, kids, it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is you the can worst both experience your life so far. so far. You're going to have way more terrible games yeah. to compare. Yeah, I mean, my lad had it bad when I took him to the FA Cup final, bless That's him. That's bad. Hey, we'll do these today, son, I said, as and they it's score. It's also like, you know when people go, oh, was this as bad as this? And it's like, I, I used to feel something. But do you know what it I is, I don't right? feel anything anymore. Yeah. So you know, like, actually, when, I don't know. I think, like, the, the, the worst times, like, under Fergie or whatever, or even just post Fergie. Finished third? Yeah, like, even that Aguero goal. <gasps> we were still like, we won the title the next year. You always mm. felt, oh yeah, we did. He's on. Oh, he's offside. You felt like we'd we'd come back, like even up to like the, the plan. Yeah, yeah. we will be all right. Like next season, won the league. Okay, all good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you believe in the process. Even under Moyes, when it's shit, we're still the reigning champions. Yeah, like, we still had so much we to still hold won the on to. Under Van Gaal, we won the title two years ago. It's yeah. not that not in the world. Then we won the FA Cup. Jose won a couple of trophies. You think okay, but now it's just like oh, no. Now it's a hold on to. There's a feeling Liverpool. when you win the league as well because you know the weather's better that time of year. Yeah, like everything. Mm. Oh, everything. It's like look, it's just so good. It is it when is. you win the league. I love that man. That feeling. I think it's like I don't know. So good when you win the league and then there's another you know game song, afterwards. Why do birds mm. That's when you win the league. That's how everything feels, isn't it? Every time. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know when Homer here. Simpson gets. Get stoned. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. It feels yeah. like that when you win the league. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no one can say anything to you. No, it's no. so good. I used to love it when you win the league and then you'd have a game at Old Trafford after you've won. The oh, league. yes. Like be just, a nil-nil. Yeah, you just won. The, the league's won. Just there to enjoy the sunshine oh, and celebrate. Against, we lost like, against West Ham. No one cares. Sorry, Neil like, Warnock. Yeah, Sheffield United are relegated. <laughs> no one gives a shit. See you yeah. later. There was a nil-nil against Arsenal. I think 08 when we won the league, and I remember just being the happiest I've ever been. Yeah. Like, it was like, a game against Arsenal literally meant nothing because we'd won the league. <laughs> and it was nil-nil. Am I thinking of the right season? It might Yo, be 9 There was a season, um, there was the one where Arsenal drew a Liverpool for all. It was that season, wasn't it? Go on. Go on, Rasmus. Oh, shit. Oh, he's going too far. He's too made much, it so too easy much, for bro. him there. It was like he went here, this is the tackle you want to make. Everything about this game's doing made and I can't see what the fuck is going on under that shadow. Go on, go to low from oh, I thought he was Go on, Ganacho. Huh. We should, you know what? No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say, outside of Willy Cambala falling over. Yeah. It's not in horrendous, has it? Um, has it? Has it? Am I just um, numb to it? All? Olivia Vlog says, roll on next season. Um, Dan C oh, says, no. how has Casemiro even started? He um, just gave the ball away again. Did Sam you see Z, that? no, I didn't. But I'll say your word for it. And they're gonna score. Oh my lordy! Bloody hell! Why did he shoot? I mean, I'm I mean, glad, but why did he just shoot straight at Anana? I don't know what. Anana was already in the corner. I know. He, he could have gone to like, the opposite. That was like a pass back to where Onana was sat. Casemiro again giving the ball away though. It's kind of sad to see isn't it. Just a yeah. player that used. And to he said the other day, like, like he did an interview saying, like, woeful. I have sleepless nights because we're not top of the league. Yes, because our holding midfield is erratic. Yeah, he's. If he wasn't like, if he didn't have his reputation and had done what he did at oh. Madrid, and this was just a player you were watching, mm. you'd be like, "What the fuck is he doing playing for Manchester yeah. United?" How has he got? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to hate on him because he's like, he's one of the best defensive midfielders. But over there's the last a 10 reason years. why Real Madrid were like, you know what, mate? Yeah. In a bit, you can go. And there's a reason why Casemiro was happy to sign a four-year deal at United yeah. on silly money, and he, on the age of thirty, whatever he is. Why do birds go on? Go on, lads. Give it Garnacho to the Go end on. of the season. Garnacho. Bruno. Go on. Oh. oh. Replayed Rashford. Give it Garnacho. Give it Bruno. Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely <laughs> twatted that one. Uh, mate, everyone seems to stop. I was like, is that is He that said, that's that, that, that you fucking what? prat. What's everyone doing? <laughs> Go on, Bruno. Bruno. He's on fire, Bruno. That's his third goal in about you know three games, goal, isn't it? You know that shot he took against Liverpool where he hit it first time? You yeah. only score if you hit it first time. Yeah. But it's also mental to hit it first time. Yeah. Have you seen it's Have you seen genius, the way you know? the way he hits it as well? Like oh. where like away from the keeper, curling into the bottom corner. Amazing. Like don't it's just be dismiss an offside that. somewhere, isn't there? Right, he's on there. That's it. I think that's the only one that could have been off. Right. Here, yeah, that's not a foul. The man there's fallen really deep. Yeah, that's live, that is. That goes live. Yeah. Oh. 
It wasn't his. You know, if I thought he had flicked it up and volleyed it, it comes oh, off the defender. No, that's that's a big Willie's tackle. That great tackle by Willie Cadwalla does well there. Rashford gets in in time. Ganacho does well, and then oh, Bruno absolutely smashed. Hey, eh? if the keeper gets, if the keeper hits that, he goes in the net with the ball. In it. Oh yes, have that. I love that. Someone needs to put that goal out with Peter K going, have it. Have it. Have it. <laughs> the way everyone stops, I thought like something had gone on. Like the other yeah. bottom players were saying, that's why I was like, is this was all right? It, did it go in? Yeah. Well done, Bruno. Back in the game. Very Never good. in doubt. <laughs> I think somebody's. Uh, Kenny says, I love Big Willie. Ross Murphy says, made up for it, Willie. Um, Joshua Owen says, Bruno scored our first shot on target again. Richard Thomas says they definitely foul throw that ref. They never give foul throws anymore. Honestly, he's ran with it and then he's just gone. Play Bruno, gone, gone. Actually, gone. Bruno's there. Oh, bastards! We were in then, you know. That is oh, is booking there for the kid who just took it's out. It's a clever foul Sinesi. by Sinesi. Yeah. Um, David Taylor says one of the best atmospheres at Old Trafford when we beat Arsenal and ended their unbeaten run happy yes days. that is one of my favourite ever games you know yeah. you Honestly. know Rude going ah, in the corner yeah. sends the hairs up on my arm you know on my back and we thought, absolutely oh. kicked seven bells of shit out of it yeah. it was mint I love Rude Van Nistel I do I love that penalty we got as well yeah. It was a penalty. I still think it was a penalty I till this day. You. I love that about you, Maka. It was a he kicks his knee. <laughs> he kicks his knee. He buys that all day. I don't, yeah, he I buys don't, it, I, but I he got I, kicked. I, I, Did he get kicked? I don't want him to I don't Does want Sol Campbell Don't spoil him. it. I don't want Is it to it be Sol a penalty. Campbell? Yeah. Sol I don't Campbell think he touched him. him. I didn't knee. think he touched him. Sol Campbell I'll... kicks him above his knee. Right. <laughs> it's like um the one against Argentina, Michael Owen dives. Oh yeah. You know when Beckham gets Oh they're in here. Bournemouth for in. Oh, he's wide again, that kid. It's that, that same again? shot. This Django. time it's Dango. Mate, come on. Yeah, that was great, that. I love that. Ended, it was on 49 as well, and we were 40, we were going to get to 50. We weren't even in an unbeaten run anyway, because they got fucking battered loads of times in that invincible season. They drew 12 games for starters, and then they lost six times in the Cups, including to us in the semi final of the FA Cup. Oh, you know what? And I... they flopped in Europe. Arsenal fans chant 49 49 undefeated. That's so pathetic. So you know They're what? so embarrassing. Oh, you no. see that video of them singing that? What's that song? I don't even know. They just cringe me out. No, nah, you know, I went to the Arsenal Porto game the other week and it's just this. Like, they talk about the atmosphere at the Emirates now and it's like loads better than blah, blah, blah. They really, the fans need to do a lot of work. Yeah. Like the fact that- It's like being at a to, pantomime, isn't it? Yeah, so like when they get a corner on the screens, it comes up that they need to start chanting the word Oh, Arsenal. if you want to get that show, you got to give it a lap. <laughs> like they have to get like a prompt to start chanting. What, like you're at a They've got, like, literally, like, they've got yeah. literally like three songs, that's it. On repeat. Like you got to watch the X Factor or something. It's got a thing on. Saying yeah, so like when it's a corner, like they get oh, like uh, the uh, screens Bruno. change. Is that Bruno or Rashford? Casemiro. But the Casemiro. chant is just Arsenal, just saying Arsenal on repeat. Has he completed a pass today? Casemiro. I don't know. He's not having the best game, is he? That's being polite. Django. Yeah, I don't like Arsenal. Are just cringe, aren't they? They literally have three songs. And think about that game against. It went to penalties. And I only heard three songs. Oh, fucking hell. Bournemouth here, just keeping possession, playing it around the back. Well, around the back in our half. It's too easy, man. They're just finding gaps. Who's that Cliver just on his own? Well, for fuck's sake, you've scored again. I told you. Why He's is he just there it. on his own? I used to always want his dad to sign for us, you I know. know. Do you remember when we played Barcelona and he, he, everyone was chanting he should have signed for a big club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were winning <laughs> and, and then we drew, but fuck it. it was still free, free, those games, free, free games. Yeah, were that, amazing. Was, that was class that season, wasn't it? For obvious oh, yeah, shit, man. Mainly was having a chat there with Bruno. I don't know what's going on. What's going on here, man? Let's have a look, look at this again. Look at him, he's just on his own in miles of space. Willie right. Kambala oh. kind of. Willie kind of passes him to Diogo Delo. Backs so off, no backs off, backs off. Glory there, to be honest with you. Look, he kind of passes him on and then 
Engages too late. Backs off, backs off. And then it's a banana in a near post as well. But that shot shouldn't be coming in at the yeah. near post. Mm. The keeper shouldn't be concerned with his near post there when your defender's oh, there. For fuck's sake. He should also be saving it. But. It's just, every, I think, like, there's a, at least three fingers you pointed out at people. Uh, Freezer Burnt Peas says he's so shit, isn't he? Casemiro, almost Fred level. Uh, Bradley Heacock says, don't disrespect Lord Fred. <laughs> um, Liam Rascola says, more space than Buzz Aldrin. Uh, Vasu Ray says, Bournemouth players out. Bournemouth players play out of trouble better than us. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just just shit at the minute, United. Really difficult to watch. Really yeah. frustrating. Yeah. Even when we get these little lifelines like that mm. goal, we just don't fucking capitalise. I'd be capitalize. interested to see what the possession is at the end of this half, but again, it's just United not capitalising on opportunities. And, you know, we shouldn't... To be totally honest, against a team like Bournemouth, we should not be putting ourselves in positions no. like this. No. We're Man United. You should be... 2-0 up before yeah. half time yeah. and you should be sitting comfortable going into the second half knowing we'll kill this game off even more even if they do score one or two Yeah, this should be on paper a fixture you're confident in no 100% and not one of those players look particularly confident no I completely agree um, Henok Bezabe says Delo, Casemiro and Ganacho horrible C. Joe James John says I hate near post goals <sighs> Um, Trent Graham says we've had no chances though La uh, LMAO we've had one and we scored mm. but that we've been very poor and you're right Angie you know, these are the games that you should be looking at going Bournemouth yeah if we genuinely want to be competing for silverware and you know being competitive within the top four games like this should not be an issue and that's Bournemouth doing the double over you it's things Jesus like this that wet. make you realise how much work there is to do at this club 100% um, Rune says Onana's not a goalkeeper just a clown Casemiro too why is he in number 10 areas he can't do a 5 yard pass horrendous ability Tenag is sacking himself playing him um, Redman07 who's been a member of the academy for 31 months says disgusting performance yet again under this manager sorry under this joke of a manager every stat is worse than under Ole he needs to go he's taking us backwards Ten Hag out oh your mate Rory Jennings is in the chat Aww. fuck off Rory <laughs> Hey, we'll have no Rory Jennings slander yeah, on don't this be channel. Tight on Rory. We love Rory. No, we will. Yeah. We will. <laughs> you know what? Rory played well in the. Don't my um, tits in the other day supporting Liverpool. I to oh, mate. Now, nah, have you played well in that Talk Sport trophy, five aside? Did it? Oh, get Good. a grip, will you? <laughs> <laughs> have you played against him? You must have played. Oh, no, nah, yeah, yeah. I played with Rory. Yeah. I love Is he Rory. decent? We got a game at the end of the season at Millwall Stadium. Big Joe's playing for us. Oh, right? Joe Smith? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Looking um, forward to that. Who are you playing against? What's the uh, pitch side? Yeah. So it should be a laugh. We'll Looking forward to it. Got a Rory's big guaranteed score at least one goal. Yeah. That just ricochets Check a off. Banner. You've got a big game coming up on the 18th for May as well, aren't you, son? Yeah, man. Yeah. The old FC United pitch playing in the uh, Len Johnson game to raise uh, money for a statue of Len Johnson. Some big names in that, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. There's a few. There's some I can't name yet. Mm. But there's there's others. There's some big names and Adam McCullough. Adam McCullough's a star of the show. Don't you worry yeah. about that. Mental. Yeah. What Absolutely. date is it? 18 for May. I'm finished available. that day. Two available. two games in three days. On you can call that. Young man, Jesus. Jesus. Are there tickets still available? Yes, yeah, tickets are available. <laughs> I'll start sharing some links closer to the time. Don't worry about that. Wonderful. I'm basically turning the channel into an advert for it for yeah, the, the few days leading up to it. Definitely. Um, get involved in the chat in the comments over 3,000 people watching let's get to 1,000 likes you might yes. not like the result right but you can like this video come on how can you not like us three do you know what exactly. I mean exactly so. I mean how, how, how long have you got <laughs> <laughs> don't encourage a man no. <laughs> yeah, we'll start super chatting us lists of reasons why they hate <laughs> lists us lists of reasons why they don't like got us got idea what time is it now 40 oh, minutes shit man I think, right, I'm worried about you, Maka. For what reason? Don't worry, because in the summer I'll be back saying we're going to win no, the league again. Because but we're shit, man. I don't even think, like, you're as angry as you used to be. I'm not that. angry at That's all. That's what I mean. I you've not, you've like, you passed it. Like, you used to you're be... You're very like, empty. When you used to, yeah. Uh, yeah. like, watch along with Maka and, like, under the Oli time, when we used to have like, these little hints of a title race and you'd lose, he'd, he'd be like, lose his shit. Yeah. And, like, won't talk for, like, half an hour. Mm. And now he's just like, he's just, like, I feel like he's just, like, used to it. He's getting immune. Which worries me. Jesus Christ. 
We just crap Jade, that's why. I know, that's what worries me. Like, you get, you, you, like, you do, it's like, oh yeah, you know, this shit. Mm. Lost again. <laughs> Bournemouth again. What we like. I think we've lost like 40% of our league games this season. Well, this will be our Bournemouth now. That, that percentage is higher now. I, I, I if this stays the same, we've lost more games in the Premier League this season than Bournemouth have. Oh my God. Because we were both on 12 yeah. losses going right. into this game, if memory serves. Yeah. So, so we've lost 13 games yeah. out of 32. That is... Some math on a that. Disgrace. I mean, it's just, it's just grim, isn't it? It's just really, really grim. Um, Ross Murphy says, "Blimey, yep." Uh, Previn Nadu says, "This defensive setup can't be the plan." Mm. Who's hear this? Like Joe always makes this point. Like, is Talking this a plan? Is this are the players doing as they're told, or are they just ignoring the manager? All he hasn't got the players to do what he wants. For starters, yeah. we got Maguire and Willie Kambala at the back. It's obviously not what he wants, but even Jesus so, was so open. And sometimes, so. like, you've got, I'd argue you've got the midfield you want. Yeah. Why yeah. is it so open? Like, it all makes sense. And why is everyone getting injured as well? I know. Mm. So many, so many injuries. Loving that, innit? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, they've hit oh the bar. Bournemouth have hit the bar oh and he's headed over. Uh, Good job he's a fucking idiot because he should have scored that. Yeah, he should have. Clown. I'm getting pissed off people aren't scoring against us. Jesus That's how bad Christ. it is. Imagine good, how bad you are. Good score against United. Oh my God. The first one was a good effort. He's got oh to do but so Why is he, why is he jumped, jumped up in the air so long? So early. Oh, shit, man. Well, that's a bad header, that second Very one. Very bad. Off top of 50p head. head? Mm. Yeah. Go on, go on, Nacho. So embarrassing, man. Come on. We do have like, you know, when you look at like Garnacho, Maino, whatever, like Hoyland, you have some semblance of like a team. This is what I was trying to say before the, the game. Like, it's not like you look at that team, there's no good players in the team. It's just. We play like we've never seen each other I know. before. You're right. It's embarrassing, man. Uh, Pavman says Jose in. Uh, let's not. Oh, oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Someone else is saying that. Ped and UV saying bring back Jose. I'd rather bring back David Moyes. As long as there's no more, as long as there's no bring back Ranyik, we're all right. Ranick. Hmm. Is he still Austrian? What's he doing with himself? I think so. Hey. Is he still Austrian? No, is he still Austria? I know he's still Austrian. He's still Austrian. He's not. He's a chain yeah, citizenship. He, he, he kicked he off. Went. He called a few of his players out. Oh, did he? Right, rightly so. Oh, it was about. Um, it was about. They were some, taking part mm. in some kind of, I think, like chanting or so, something yeah. very inappropriate right, against okay. a certain community. Right, okay. So. Um, and he called him out for it and right. uh, told him off. Well, his, his press conference so. was good. It's just the football they were was singing, awful. Send the bullets back. back. And he's like, hey, whoa, hey, look at that now, look at that, nothing blue. And like, no, just racist. <laughs> what? Get him <them> off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to laugh, aren't you? You'll cry. Here we go. Oh, God. Hoyland just running down a dead end alley there. Yeah. The ball took off him. I wish I could get to Dead End Alley. Right oh, no, now. man. Honestly. Fucking drive a car into it. Uh, Kieran O'Brien says, it is the plan. You've not seen that clip of him and Rude Hulley asking him about the gaps in midfield during his time at Ajax. <sighs> Nine minutes added time we've got. That's great stuff. You're going to be hearing from Andy Tate shortly. He can give you his thoughts on this. <sighs> I'm sure. Andy, you're gonna, you can come and swap with me in a minute, mate. Yes, please. Yeah. Give us your half-time analysis. Give us your comments. Get involved in the chat as well and hit that like button. Give us your half-time. Oh, man. So I was going to make a horrible joke. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. It don't matter. I can't be bothered anymore, you know. This is what I mean. It's getting to the point where you're like, you're not even angry. You're just deflated. You're just had enough. Should we play Russian roulette or something like that? Wow. Gone. Hey. <laughs> Excite me. Well, no. the ball was moving there. Nine minutes, nine this minutes. bastard. Because oh. the um, because the ref had his mic Fucking issue hell, and pissed man. off down the tunnel, didn't he? Oh yeah. So, so, so Where did he fault. go for nine minutes? though, surely. Nah. Nine minutes. You know, like when you're when all the you, falling over in the door. When you're at like under tens football and some teams getting battered fifteen 0 and the ref will just blow the whistle like yeah. ten yeah, minutes before yeah, the end. Yeah. Needs that, doesn't it? Oh, Put them out of a misery. On, at this point, yeah. like I would happily just forfeit it and just like would you? Let them just go home. Yeah. Like. We'll take the two one defeat. Yeah. Probably do do do. Knowing our luck, it's gonna difference. get worse. <laughs> oh, 
I feel sorry for Kambala, you know. Same. I don't feel any sorry for anyone. I feel sorry for me. <laughs> How about that? Well, okay, I feel sorry for you and Kambala. Look at this shit, bro. Can't pass wind, none of them. Every, it's like, it's just everyone's collectively rubbish. Mm. I don't get it. It's games so like this that actually make again, you worried about the Coventry game. Ten Hag. You, you it's, it's literally, you're just like, we're not going to make it easy for ourselves, are we? Let's no. be honest. No. It'd well, be very on brand to fuck that up. Yeah, it was. I think you're right. Coventry going to run us through the middle. We're going to extra time, baby. Literally. Oh, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. I mean, the one good thing about that, like, if that does happen, is you don't have to get beat off City in the final. <laughs> I mean, that's that bad, yeah. isn't it? I can't. Can't, can't, oh my god! Can't be going that when we're taking the lad again and watching us lose to Coventry. Come yeah, on, that's man. Tight. <laughs> You've put him through enough already. That's. It's a ball that is. It's always on as well. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What the fuck is that? Bruno there, trying to play it back post, but it's just... It was Delow, that. Oh, was it Delow? Sorry. So, match stats for you there. 45% possession for that. United. Uh, have we had zero shots when we've scored? Oh, last 15 minutes. Well, yeah. yeah. Bournemouth have had four shots in the last 15 minutes. We've had none. He's <sighs> got Bournemouth have been, you know, good value for their 2 1 win, to be honest with you. It could be a lot worse, and it could get a lot worse because there's still another six minutes of this nonsense to go. Mm. Don't forget the 45 after. Oh my God. Oh, they'll always give away a free kick near the corner flag. <sighs> Bloody hell. Um, the Collective AU says makeshift defence. 90 year old Casemiro is why we're bad. Rash and Garner can't play with Rasmus. Don't blame Onana. I don't think anyone is blaming Onana, to be, no. to be honest with you. I don't really. It's just embarrassing and frustrating, and I'm sick of it, man. I'm mm. sick of sitting here feeling like I'm pulling teeth. Just fucking win for once. Bournemouth with a free kick here. Ooh. Headed away. We're going to come back in. Oh, Save. And all was good, you know. Yeah, Clive out there from about seven yards out. Mm. His dad scores that. <laughs> I thought they said we weren't wearing this kit again. Or was it the other one? No, it was the other one, I think. Isn't the anniversary of the Southampton game when we changed the kit? Yeah. And still, we won the second half, didn't we? Yeah, that's what matters. <laughs> that's the real quiz. Skin on. Jesus wept. You big headed dick. Oh, Harry Maguire decides I'm going to score the greatest goal in the history of football, but it didn't quite work out. Good save that from Malana. Mm. He must be wondering what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Come at United facing like 30 shots a game. Like he was in a Champions League final last know, season man. and this is what he's winning. Yeah, for the fuck of United, it's going to be mint. Mm. Bournemouth in here again. Ooh, is that a penalty? That's no. A penalty. That's a penalty. If that gets looked at, we yeah, might be in trouble. That's a penalty. Knowing our look, we'll score and they'll bring it back for penalty. That's a penalty, that is. <clears throat> That's a penalty. It's not, it's the first time I've seen us not give away a penalty in ages. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still time. The low again, he gave a penalty away against 
whoever that was against. Chelsea. Mm. Chelsea. Has the ref put his finger into his ear yet? Okay, just no options whatsoever. Oh, man, it's so shit. That's a foul. Must not be a penalty, because surely he would have. Let's have a look at this again here now. Oh, nah, not no, a chance is that a penalty. He's absolutely down, You should get booked for that, no, this silly no. prick. They don't send a book anyone with diving. Nah, it's a Do they, like, please go down for Soft nothing. Prick. Just get away with it. Like, no one says anything to him. Like, maybe he booked him now and again. He won't keep doing it. Just absolutely just... Tried to win one there, didn't he? Mm. Yeah. Ron Masaka going through into the box. Dude, one a corner. It's just like watching Ronaldinho. Yes. So, no, you know, even if you win, it's like, it's like who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, who genuinely gives a fuck? You're not getting anything. You know what? Go from six to six. Yeah. You fucking it's do. bad, innit? Oh, shit. Keeper punches it away. Good touch, God, actually. <sighs> On Bruno, good, good ball. Or have a shot. <gasps> oh, is it the bar? He's so good, isn't he? Uh, Bruno there. Shot from about 20, 25 yards out, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, about that. Decent effort, this. There is. Oh, dipping it's enough. Yeah, it's at the top of the bar there. If it's a bit earlier, it goes in. Yeah. Keep going, son. He's got some cracking facial expressions. Yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. Go on, Rasmus. Buddy out alone. Oh, we're so shit. Yeah, you look take over that. Uh, Andy, you come in. Certainly to go to Lou. Andy. Yeah, United are losing one. It was half time. Andy Tate's here to give you two his uh, two one. Sorry, <laughs> what did I say? It was one nil. Oh, 1 0, 2 1, whatever it is, United are losing. Andy, and thoughts? Cat playing with a mouse, seriously. <laughs> Nothing going forward. Um, and a little moment just to get back into it. And we've just been, like you say, absolutely pathetic. That defence. Getting Diego Dolo having a go at the young lad because he lost it. It's, it happens in football. Mm. Then the second goal is on you, Dolo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, he, honest, and he's supposed to be what our best right back. You know what I mean? Ego, egos aside, Jesus Christ, this defence, makeshift or not, it's got to, I don't mm. blame Andre for having a go at him. For me, he's our star man in the match. That back four is makeshift, but it, it should have some communication with each mm. other. And it's absolutely shocking. And to be fair, we should be three or four one down, maybe even more. Casemiro sitting in front of the defence isn't helping, is he? Oh, he was a liability last week. When we got 2-1 up against Liverpool, you could see the mistake, mistake, mistake. You didn't bring him off and the fizz went out and that's it. We lo we end up drawing the game. Casemiro is the weak link now. Yeah. Age, I'm not ageist, but he is finished. But he's younger than you, so you can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but, but it, is, it is like, it shows you, when we signed Casemiro, obviously, you're all excited, you bring him in, he does all right for one season, or if that, half a season. And it's like, it's such a short stopgap signing. It's me you look to at say, it now, we're missing like, McTominay. Oh, no, nah, we're not. We're not. Honestly. I don't think this improves McTominay. Look, I, I, I'm not going to criticise McTominay, he's not on the pitch, but Casemiro's not. Put, like, the one that you think could possibly change it is Mason Mount or, you know, maybe a Christian Eriksen. But again, Christian Eriksen's not the answer to the question. No. Everything is just short-term gaps with Manchester United. The re- recruitment's been abysmal. Of course it is. You look at the... You look at the back line that we've got out there. Maguire should have been sold. Kambuala's like sixth choice. wan is playing at left back. Delo, who's been one of our best players this season, has been crap this week. Um, I think he was poor against Chelsea. Poor again today. Um, Casemiro in front of them. Non-existent. And you talk about, obviously, there being nothing going forward. And I think you're right. I think Rashford's the, only playing when the ball the has been there. When the ball has gone forward, you know, the three at, like, up top haven't done anything with it, but also you like look at it and it's like from back to front, we don't, we can't pass the ball. It's all like there's no semblance of play in our game, and that that's come I, down I to the manager, Hags, I think, and the organisation of the team. What he said with this week, but I know we're, where we're going. We know what we're doing. They're <laughs> like seriously. Do you know some of we don't, lad? Because you're like you, like you've already guaranteed for next season. Is he just wants the season to fizz out? Then he can plan ahead with this new structure. Let's just get through each game and try to keep it to maximum carnage or maximum damage. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. And again, it's like I don't know where I stand on it because there's times where I think, look, give the geese some time. You know, last season was good. This season's been horrendous. Maybe we just need to get rid, like, do a lot of weeding. Get to the summer. Try Play like a, this next week. Try mate. and have a decent summer. But we ain't having a cup. You final. look at the results. Thirteen games. If we lose this one, we've lost this season. <sighs> yes, you've got the the injuries and all that, but fuck it now. Coventry will fucking like, do us next week. We had th- we were winning three games in a week. We we could possibly have the double done on us by Bournemouth. Like that's down to the manager, or, or ultimately, and it it does leave me very confused. Like, where do you go? Do you just stick by him and give him some time? Oh, the Bournemouth, the, the Bournemouth the Old Trafford the game it was the worst performance I've seen in 40 years ago in Old Trafford mm. and this is it's not far behind it you know mm. what I mean United had a, was it two minute spell just to get a goal and they've done nothing else oh, and I think Bruno you can look the at bar. the fact that both of their goals come from like Willock and Barla falls over right and then there's, like, how is Cliver in that gap like how is he in so much space to receive the ball it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense Andrew what are you mm. thinking very very similar. I just think that you, you you do question what is going on here. Like, is what is being discussed at halftime? Is it like, is this actually what Tenag wants? Is he actually saying like, yeah, this is good, guys. We can build on this in the second half. Or is he actually ripping, you know, a oh, he, few shreds he, know, he knows something. It's, he knows something for next season. He can think? experiment between now and the end of the season and get away with it mm. and come out with bullshit because he is safe mm. for next season. But the thing is, and I understand there's injuries, but I'd have a bit more respect for it if we saw some like proper experiments. Like if we saw certain players, like if we saw him absolutely going for it and really putting a shift in and trying different things, trying a different formation, blah, blah, blah. Then you can see that there's work being put in for the new season, but it just seems like it's the same thing every single week. And I know that there's injuries, but... I was saying it earlier to Jay, you know, this is exactly where we deserve to be at the moment. We do not deserve you know when to be playing in Europe, competing in a top true. four, when a game like Bournemouth is causing us so many problems yeah, yeah. home and away. I agree with you. So I'm not, when I ask you the question, I'm not disagreeing with you. Mm. I'm just asking the question. Is it, are we, like when you look at the squad, Jay, and you go from back to front, and this to you as well, Andy, like I think we all agree when you go from keeper, you go, all right, Anana's done all right. Yeah. We need a keeper to challenge him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right back, the load's done all right, but we need a right back. Yep. Centre-backs, how many of them do we need? I've lost count. We need two or three because or Because the thing is, you can't rely on you Zandra need Martinez position. as you great as back. he is. Like Luke back. Shaw's been all injured, Malassia's been injured. We're playing, we're playing, like we had Regil on and on, now we're playing Aaron Wamsaka mm-hmm. there. So even like just going from goalkeeper to backline, we need about five players. Midfield, you say the same. Casemiro, you need to replace him. Ericsson, you need to replace him. Yep. Maybe you got something in Maino and Mount and Bruno, but you still need two or three midfielders. Yep. You're talking about eight players. If now you, you go to the front line. Hoyland, I like him, but we, we need another striker. Yep. 
you know, we need, all right, if you've got Rashford and Garnacho fighting for the left, you need someone on the right. Yep. Maybe two. So then when you mm -hmm. go through the team, you're almost going, you need a player or two in every position. Yep. So, and that's not even talking then, about the people we, we need like, to get rid of. Are we kind of giving the excuse there? Is what I'm saying. Like when you mm. look at it and you go, well, it looks like we're doing nothing on the training pitch. But then you go through the team and you go, we need players in every... Like, and quite a few of those names probably need to be going for like, the exit you know door. I mean? like, a team that does well as, mm. as, a, as competition like, for every place. No, but no, that's mm. obviously... But that's my point. Do we not need to build that team before we judge the manager on what's... Got, I think it's a bit mm. of both the answer probably it's is a, yeah it's, I understand is, what you're is saying man, is his team and some of it is not his team so he really needs like I say I think he knows he's safe in it for, for the foreseeable future and he's got next season under Do the structure think that? I, I think he does with, with Do what he's that? coming out this week I don't think so I, I think I he know. has now he, he's no, been given what did he say that made you because I'll mm. be honest I don't watch press conferences. No, anymore. it's just what, what it, there was a there was a comment on. He was getting interviewed this week, and he, and he was talking. I think it was on Sky or something, and he was at Carrington, and he was just saying, "I know where that with the structure coming in with Ineos, and you know, he knows where he stands. He knows so. where he stands. I think he knows where he stands. Mm. He wants to implement. He's going to sacrifice. I don't think that means you he's going to sacrifice a lot between now and the end of this season because he knows he's got a structure coming in, and like, all right, you work with us. You've got twelve months now." Till next summer, and he's gonna he's gonna ride this season out and just mm. and just take each game as it comes and take the heat and and just try to feed this bullshit. I, I don't I don't I don't know like that's the thing though. I do have some sympathy with him. Like how is he? Look, I, I also think he deserves some criticism for a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, true, things. but a bit of honesty but towards the fans. But then ain't, how can ain't, he, ain't, he? Ain't fair. He it's can't. Fair. You can't like you can't go everything shit because then, all right, we're not performing, but you kind of lose. You can't just throw, you know. Yeah, but what you mean? can't you know what bullshit I mean? you... the fans forever. But what do you? When you say bullshit, how do you think it's bullshit? Fulham. Oh, we played well. We played brilliant. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah. brilliant. And I'm sorry, man. What What did you see? Brailsford, Ratcliffe, see that second yeah, yeah, yeah. half. You we had three or four minutes where we had. But sometimes wow, don't managers on. kind of. It's the bullshit. damned if they do, damned if they don't. No, no, but be honest. Like, just mm. be fucking honest with the fans. That's all I want to hear. Like you said it against Chelsea, it's like against um, Brentford, we didn't compete. Wow, that's the first bit of honest shit I've heard from him this season. Mm. Be I, honest with us, that's I, all I fucking want. When you say honest, what do you think that sounds like though? Like what is that? Is that saying these the players play aren't good enough? Is that saying- These players need to give more for me, for you, for them fans out there. Then we've seen, I think yeah. he's been smart with these press conferences. I agree with you. I, I would prefer, I would have more respect for it if he came out, not saying naming players, but just to come out and say, you know what, the performance wasn't good enough, blah, blah, blah. But I think, I genuinely think, I don't think Eric Ten Hag is that um, simple, small minded to genuinely you know watch what? all these Maybe games and think they're going he, well. He, I he think he knows that say. whatever he says is going to get spun. He needs We've to seen say. it before with other managers, and he's just playing it safe, just saying whatever. He would rather be more of the laughing stock to the media of like, look how delusional this guy is, versus people picking holes in everything he's saying. If he says, oh, the defence weren't good enough, the next thing is, oh, Ten Hag slams the defence. Also, if he's saying that publicly, it doesn't mean he's saying it. He's not I saying think it what he's saying privately doors. is very he different to what he's to saying say, to the media, and I think he's playing a game. If I if I hear him say the fans need to trust me, I, I would have a little bit more respect for him. If he says that between now and the end of the season, so, I will respect so him. So rather than him calling out parts of the pitch or players or whatever, whatever, I think what you're saying, if he was actually making some kind of plea to the fans of saying, "Listen, guys, yeah. I, I I understand why yeah. you're not just, happy. Just admit but the fault. Please give me time." Yes. Or do you'd it like all. Some the problem humility. is when you do that, and it's we've all seen it. Get picked apart. We've seen it. Yeah, like we've previous managers that chuck everyone else under the bus. Like if you're thinking long term, you don't need to do that, right? Because if if he's made his mind up on, let's say, in his mind, he's gone. Player X isn't going to be here next X, season. X, Y, and Z is out. But yeah. I have to use them. Mentally, I know they're gone. But I can't come out and say it publicly because then I've still got to try and get through these next two months. No, but so there's all a, there's, I want is, I think he's trust me. All I want to hear to the fans, fans, the please trust me. If I hear that, yeah. I'd have a little bit more respect. To I, hang, on, I got, hang on, check out this for a comment. Sardman says, is Angelina Jay's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> how, how old did I think Jay is? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> how old did I think Jay do is? I look that young? I'll take that. <laughs> I don't know if it's you look young or he looks old. 
<laughs> Back in the day, yeah, you know what I mean? We all, we all uh, was in the How uh, well do you know, Jackie, what's going on? <laughs> Jackie, I know um, you're watching. Can you get in touch, please? And them, uh, them, dispel them these rumours. Them late 90s were the, bro- were the blind. Right, um, about them. So, FPL Macau with a super chat. Got to read it out. Um, so, being honest, they're now in players is exactly how you lose a dressing room. That's the kind of point I was trying to make, and I think mm. Andrew's trying to make. We have had 30 different defensive combinations this season. Impossible. Mm. I get what you were saying as well about the whole, you know, he's got certain players that he knows are not going to work and blah, blah, blah. I, th- I think for me, even if the performances are bad, the, the massive thing is we're not seeing the passion and we're not seeing that. They, and I understand some of those players might realise they're out of there, but I think overall it's just frustrating when you see games like the Liverpool game, when you really see that heart. It is there. They are capable of it, but we're not seeing it week in, week out. Game, game. Yeah, and, and when you see, like, oh, you can perform like this, or you can show that you care, or you can show us heart, but then week in, week out, you just can't really be asked to do it. I think that's what's frustrating, but I firmly, I do not think, the more I listen to these press conferences and the lines that I get out of them, Eric Ten Hag is either that delusional, which I don't think he is, I think he is playing some kind of game. He's playing. He's playing this. I think Vegas. he's playing a game he's with the Las media. Vegas. I think he's playing a game with the media and thinking, if I just keep telling you that everything's great, there is no. You can't poke holes in that, and no players are getting thrown under the bus. You're all just going to sit there as the media and say, you know, what is Eric Ten Hag watching? Is delusional? Blah blah blah. And if he is taking that bullet, then I've got a lot of respect for him. So it looks like Ahmad Diallo's coming on. Um, not sure who he's coming on for. Say Cough Rashford, but. Is on the side. Um, you know it's that old. No, it's Ganacho. If you take off Rashford, Ganacho no, did seem to pick a up a knock at one point last week when he took off Rashford. Um, but at ten fifteen minutes, we had a bit of a bubble, a bit, mm. bit of a spark. Looks like it's Ganacho, so maybe there's an injury there. Uh, maybe there's an injury there. Yeah. I'd like to see Mount coming on at some point. To be totally I honest, I mean, yeah, at this. Point, I know he's not a defensive-minded midfielder, but you bring him on for Casemiro, drop Cobby a bit deeper. Hopefully they sit back at some point and try and hold on to this and we can just go for him. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Ahmad Diallo coming on, anyone excited? Because he's, uh, at least he'll play and he'll do, he'll run his socks off them more. It's Ahmad for Garnacho. Right, I, I shall say that as my Hopefully, cue. Hopefully Casemiro's got some uh, football boots on. Because he's playing like he's playing oh, his really? slippers. Oh, you stick with I hate football. You know. Nah, no, I hate football. <laughs> it's fucking shit, innit? Like, it peaked for us, innit? We've finished now. We've finished, finished club. No, like, we, we're done, man. What do you mean? We'll be alright. So, uh, we've had our time. No. We've had our no. fun. No. No. We will. It's be done. Back. Dusty. Yeah. It's always dark. It's I think. The dawn and all I don't, You're right, Look, Dad. Maybe yeah, I'm going to die in a dawn. year. <laughs> but I don't think I see Man United win another league title. Uh, what? Yeah, I think it's whatever bad. again yeah. in your that's lifetime. A sort of, that's a sort of dramatic someone, statement. Someone put behind. someone put a jinx on us. No, we'll be alright. In the next ten years, realistically, yeah. Do you see us winning a league title? Hundred hmm. percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Right. Could we get, get you putting charges. a bet on that? City will get them charges and get relegated. Right. Mm. So that's them out of the game. Yeah. The no. Scousers implode once Clot leaves. Yeah, yeah, so you can forget about them as well. Chelsea uh, will just carry on Chelsea going down Chelsea will carry on what they're doing, whatever Todd Bailey Spurs will Spurs it and Spurs fuck it up. Spurs it. And I'd set her eventually to go at Barca and then Arsenal will implode. Mm. There you go. It's all, it's all good. We're shit. Decent. And we know we yeah. are. We're shit. Um, can we have a little bit of volume if you haven't got any, please, my friend? Um, second half underway. Is it Ahmad Diallo on for Garnacho then? Do we know? Yes. Is that works. tactical or was that a sub- um, an injury? We're not sure. Go on, Bruno, smash him. Ooh. Simon says, lovely to see a father daughter team like this. I must think you look very young, that's all. I, I, I that's, am, that's you know what? That Botox that. worked. That's you know all I mean? I'll say. Yeah. Although uh, Jackie's oh. not got back to me. That's you know. <laughs> Shit in us. I messaged her. I messaged her. Secrets <laughs> out. Keep, I keep her. Mouth keep mouth shut mouth your mouth. Don't say anything yet. <laughs> Remember the agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be getting the CSA involved again. I know. <laughs> I know you've got enough of that to deal with now. <sighs> <aren't you? sighs> 
Oh, football, eh? Great, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to have to do the heavy lifting here, you know. Right, you, go, <laughs> you get your head down. Yeah. Too. You're going to be all right. I love the fact Mac is giving up on the title. No, you know Forever. what? We've, we've That's just what I love. got to be positive about this because I don't need this game to be There ruin is my such day. thing as toxic positivity. No, yeah. there is. And there's a lot of it coming from that end of the table. Right, hang on a minute. There's a difference between. Oh, Adam, don't be depressed. Right, yeah, I'm we're losing a against Bournemouth. Toxic positivity is saying, right, I'm not, I'm not being. Toxically positive by saying, I think we'll win a title again in my lifetime. <laughs> mm. I think that's I do you like... still think you're 21? <laughs> yeah, if I live to 104, there's a good chance we will see another title. Do you know what I mean? No, but I just want when us to When we win, win another title, I've... we'll be called like, a, we'll have a different name. Yeah. We'll be on a neck. We'll, we, we would have built the new Old Trafford and then been in the, the new You'll be watching it on, your, on the Neuralink thing in your brain. Yeah. Um, I remember when we won the title in 93 and my dad and his mates were like crying. And <laughs> I was like, I never really see him crying. That's I was like, what are you crying for? And I think that's like well going to be me. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I can't wait. Because they went 26 years without But your kids oh, will Bruno be crying with you because of the yards. shit that you've put them through over the years leading feel, up to it. This is what I mean, man. I feel for him. Because it's like, he's never seen us good. I've seen them. Do you ever show him like old videos? All the time. Yeah. That's all I show him. All right, just watch this. Does it hit the same old? No. It's like I used to watch videos of 68. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't. He's very good though, Milad, of sort of twisting the narrative to make it seem like we're not as bad as we are. Of course. You, you know have to mean? as a kid, like, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Like he loves Garnacho, so he'll focus on like when Garnacho does something good or. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He'll say things like Ireland's yeah, just like, We might be shit, but we scored goal of the he, season. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Just watch <laughs> that over there, kick it, Everton on repeat. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Loves all that. That's the real quiz. Uh, yeah, that is. <laughs> oh. I think you've won like four goals of the s s months. I've four out of eight. So when That's we do matters. score goals, score so they're at least good. Yeah. That shows you we're fucked we as a We only scored four goals like, this season. To score a goal, someone has to do something magnificent. Mm. I think That's watching, a problem, isn't it? Watching that game last week <laughs> and that Liverpool game, I was in disbelief that the, the, the quality of those two goals. Oh, mate, it's all good. But like, to score, we have to do something crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, so if you're not watching bad. a game, but you see United have scored, at least you can get excited. Can you remember the four goals of the month? Right, obviously, Gannat, Gannat show you, you've, you've mentioned that one. Did Cobby Mainu get yeah, one for the Wolves game? Yeah, 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 I was about to say that was another one that was um, memorable. I don't were know the other two, but... Oh, well, Harland, Harland against West Ham, I feel like that might have been one. Harland? Ha you Harland, right? sorry. <laughs> I just read Harland in a middle What was the goal he scored against West Ham? It's where Casemiro gave it him, and he had, like, f he had a lot to do on the edge of the box. And he sort of... Bruno's got to be another one, maybe. Burnley. Yeah. The volley oh, yeah, against Burnley. Johnny Evans, your mate, setting it up. Or was it, oh, maybe even the Fulham goal he scored. Remember the last minute winner, Fulham? Ah, uh, yes. I'm going Bruno against Burnley. Mm. Carby against Wolves. Garnacho against Everton. And Hoyland. I'm saying Hoyland against West Ham. I can't even remember that goal. No. Right. That's I goal of the month. Goal. It was it was the first Everybody goal of the game. Of the month Month probably right. Let's have a look. Um, oh, Rashford against City. Oh, oh you oh, fucking oh, dick. Was, yeah, because we lost. Yeah, we got battered. <gasps> Fuck off, handball, my ass. Bloody hell. Yeah. Mm. Of course, man. I can forget that. So, w which ones? So, yeah, Rashford against City. Get uh, Manu against Wolves. Um, Ganacho against Everton. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Fernandez against Burnley. Yeah. We've also. I was Bruno against Burnley. Yes, That's a great goal that. Yeah. We've Bruno also had um, a player of the month for November. You've looked. Can you remember who that was? I've just seen That's it. That's a pity party that was. I know, man. He's had mm. such a pity party for him every single time. So now I got manager of the month as well. Mm. Right. It's all happening. He's so brave. Fuck off. Hoyland got player of the month as well for February. Oh, it's not handball, <laughs> but it did hit his hand. His arm. <laughs> Mate. Who did? Hoyland? Hoyland got player of the month yeah, for February. Yeah, because he scored February. like six goals. Yeah, he? he did. He was on fire. And then... We won three games and he scored... Uh, in all honestly, of them. sometimes... Do you, remember that, do you remember that spell against Forest when we were just editing it in the air? Mm -hmm. And it was just like watching non-league. 
I mean, this like season, today. yeah, that's what I mean. This season, it's just not like Casemiro to give the ball away, is it? I get surprised when he completes a pass. I do. That's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad it's come to that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Albin Shetty says, "Screw it, turn this off, and let's start a Con Air watch along." Oh, let's do it. It's not Con Air. Film. Oh, shit, that's it's a great film, Con Air. I love that, mate. Is that Nicholas Cage? Cage? Yeah. yeah, I didn't like. I don't like it. Uh, who else who is in it? Someone is, uh, else. Johnny Depp. No, no, John no. Malkovich is in it. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Not Johnny Depp. Just someone else. John Cusack. Is, that, is it like in Vegas that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It lands on the strip. Thank you. Yeah. That's hey up. Oh dear. I was watching. That's what I was watching. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's someone in Con Air that I was... Because I watched it the other day. Well, I, I thought he tackled him there, mm. wan It's a bit unlucky for me. Steve Buscemi, that's it. Ah, oh, the He's psycho. He's in it, yes. He's got the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's such a... What's the word I'm looking for? Great. Flexible man. actor. Yeah. Isn't he? Because he that plays... That's a tackle, that. In that any, is a tackle. In any Adam Sandler film, he's like this weirdo. Yeah. Like a funny weirdo. Good and then Sopranos, like isn't a it? serious in Soprano. He wrote uh, Pine Barrens. Ah, yeah, yeah. That nah, directed it. Yeah. You're right. He did. The greatest episode of anything in the history of television. It's not the best, you know. What? It's Shut not the best up. episode. Go on, then. What is? Funhouse, possibly. Mm. Um, Funhouse is definitely up there. But it's up there, but White Caps is very good. Yeah, that's very good as well. But yeah. I think Pine Balance is just elite. I don't think there's a better any episode of anything ever, anywhere. Go on, go on Marcus. Marcus. Go on. Oh, go on. I thought you had him there, oh. you know. I can't. <sighs> so annoying that one Bissaka tackle was giving us a foul. Right, come on, Mainu. Bruno here. What's going on? No, oh, he held on to it too long there, Bruno. Legend of ten uh, Tennessee Motorcycle. Yeah, that's a good one. There's so many good ones in the Sopranos, isn't there? It's just non stop. They're all absolute bangers. Yeah, he did four episodes of uh, Sopranos. <clears throat> he used to be a fireman. In Camelot, Do you know he used to be a fireman? Did he? Steve Buscemi, yeah. Hey, oh, what's the keeper doing? Come out Keeper's here. He's done really well there. Yeah, he has. Go on, United down the left hand side here with Bruno. Go on, Marcus. Nice. Ball into Hoyland. Oh, fuck. Oh, on it there. Bruno and Hoyland trying to link up. Come on, United. Keep going, man. A bit of energy. At least try and take the game to him. Get back in it. Not again, Willie. Oh. Bruno's my favourite player, I think, you know. He just doesn't stop running. No, uh, even if it's not happening. And I know I get annoyed him. at him and stuff. Yeah, well, it's, it can be frustrating, but even if it's not happening for him, he at least keeps going. I can sympathise with that. Where do you guys stand? Because a lot of non United fans within this industry, like people that I work with, like at Talksport, a lot of people get very frustrated with like his attitude as a captain and he's so a lot of your his dads arms up in the- a lot of Talksport though, isn't it? Th where do you <laughs> stand? There's a lot of- We have a rule here. Well, yeah, we- I'm, I'm allowed to say that. You Ange can. Ange 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 I'm just keeping my mouth yeah. yeah. agree with me. Yeah. Where do you guys stand on <laughs> when people <laughs> criticise yeah. him for like throwing his hands <laughs> up in the air and that, all that shit? I don't mind it. I think it gets overstated. Is it a bit childish to you guys or no, not? No, I don't. I get, I get annoyed on his behalf. If United were winning, it'd be, oh, I look at him, he's a, such a winner. Also, I think if you look at what he moans at and who he moans at, he doesn't really moan at his teammates much. It's more like the ref. Yeah. Like, which I kind of don't mind. And I think a lot of the time, sometimes he gets it wrong, but sometimes there are bad decisions and you think, like, he's right to moan about mm -hmm. it. I think the problem is, there's no one else really on the team who's showing any leadership. Like okay. maybe, Mc oh, I know. here we go. Oh my Cry God, he's just turned into the best player ever. You know what I don't like? I think oh, it affects his Hoyland, game. bro, what are you doing? Right. I don't mind it. Okay. But I think it affects his game and mm. that's when I mind it. Because I do think he gets wrapped up like in he get, he gets his, his emotions. Head about it, yeah, 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 yeah. And you can tell he really cares. Like, as you can tell, like all the managers that have had him must love him. Yeah. Yeah, um, 
Who was it? I think when it was the Wigan game, Roberto, uh, is it Martinez, Martinez, yeah. however you pronounce it, he was on the uh, on the comms for it or something, and he was saying, like, really praising, like, his work ethic and him being such the a joy to manage the Ollie Portugal. said the same, like, yeah. Yeah. like there's little things that go on the radar almost. Like, he's never injured. We've got this injury crisis. Right. He plays he's every single game. only missed one game through COVID, isn't it? That's mental. Like, mm. oh, Marcus Miller goes over the advertising board. Oh, fuck off, you morons. A oh. lot of empty seats, isn't there? No. I'm right near the front as well. Probably just had enough, haven't they? Probably just can't be bothered watching, watching us beat United again. That's not even a thing anymore. No, no one cares. cares about that, yeah. Got better <sighs> stuff to do when we do. Uh, Henok Bazabe says, Wambasaka needs to argue more. Keeps himself to himself, doesn't he, on wan He's not mm. that guy. But I don't argue or anything, does he? He just gets on with it. Yeah. He's not that type of player. Someone said, fact, Steve Buscemi returned as a fireman during 9-11. Yeah, I think he did. Fair fox. Yeah, man. What a career. What a career trajectory. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm been a fireman. I'm gonna be an actor now. Yeah, why not? I'll do a bit of direct. Like Gaga, well. in it. What be a singer? Gonna yeah, be an actor well, she's now. that. Yeah, I'm Joker. <laughs> oh, disgrace. Jobs for mates. <laughs> I know, man. There's only so many times you can watch that Class of '92 DVD. This world of football these days, when I hate watch someone lose, like yeah, watching yeah. Atlanta batter Liverpool the other day was really good. Mm. I enjoyed. My, that's probably the best day I've had in about ten years watching football. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, that, isn't it? Mm. Just hate watch people now. It's fun. I hate watch Man United because I don't want to watch us. I hate it. <laughs> Just it's um, it's amazing how many seasons we write off by like this time of the year. It's every other year. Mm. Like, every other year, we're writing off the season about now. Yeah. It's going, oh, this season's done. Isn't it? Like, mm. remember under Ragnick? It was like, as soon as Athletic Home Madrid beat us, the season was over. Yeah. And that was in March. Mm. Like, we've got, got f- another three months of this yet. Yeah. Was that in the knockout stages? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Michael Caddick got us to the knockout stages when he are. And then we s- scraped to one all in Madrid. We are very lucky. And then you lost it up. I know, but everyone was like, well, you can't keep Michael Carrick because we had, we had Ollie and that didn't work. Well, what's that got to do with anything? Yeah, what has what's that, that got to do with That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Let's get this guy in that no one's heard of, but everyone pretends he did. It oh. was everyone pretending though, wasn't it? Like, like the amount fair of people. Like, Housen did, because he's like, obviously he's into all that nonsense. So he's like, Jay Gagan Press, get on board. But there was a lot of people, well, lot of people like, like, which I ship. Yeah. Like, hang on a minute, you've never ever mentioned this guy before in your life and now he's the answer to all our problems. He talked to Tuchel and uh, Klopp, uh, what, everything they know, did he? Based on what? Because he's, he he's, he's old. Yeah, how come he was in Germany for about 30 and years? He and he's never won a trophy or managed mm-hmm. by Munich. But then proper typical United to get a director of football in and go, I know, you could be our manager. Yeah. Jesus Didn't he have like his, his mate sat on a laptop in Moscow and he was feeding back to him for mm. tips? Oh, man, yeah. Mate, we are in the banter area. Random around, American like. fella as well. Oh, what, oh yeah. Is it Chris Armour? Oh my God. Hey, what was that about? We are just a joke, aren't we? Not even a funny one. That was crazy. Man. And it was like, well, once he's finished, he's going to move upstairs. And then he didn't. Because mm. Eric and I was lying. I got nothing to say to him. <laughs> I didn't want to chat to him. <laughs> didn't even meet him, did he? No. I helped Bournemouth for an I get that though, because United would have wanted him to be like assistant manager or something. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Mm. Like, I've, yeah, it, it's it, like they wouldn't have given the powers of a director of football. So then, I get why a manager would go, "Oh, and this fella hanging about, <laughs> like what, this fellow is just masterminding." I know who you are. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> 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 masterminded us to six. Let's listen to what he's got to say. He's just basically as well. He went on in a press conference and said everyone's rubbish. <laughs> he, was, he was bang on. I mean, he was he was true. He was right, but he's probably not the guy that you want to keep around. I don't know. Not if you're going to keep everyone. No, but I'm rubbish around. Yeah. <laughs> Good news, bad news. Good news, I'm joining. Bad news is uh, Ralph Randlick staying on. <laughs> Get Mason Mount on. Easy answer to all. Give it problems. Mason to the Give end. Give it Mason. Were you yeah. pro Mount signing or? No, yeah. I got I was. into it. 
You got talked into it. Yeah. Why Eric Tenard? Eric Tenard. Well, but I get behind a player as soon as he signed for United. When we were linked with him, I didn't. I wasn't feeling it at all. Yeah. I wanted him. Yeah, you did. To be fair, and so did Stay. I did a video with Stay, and he was like, you know, telling the same why it'd be a good move. The problem people have with it is we could have spent the money elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And by that, I get it. But yeah. we should have been able to spend money elsewhere as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it yeah. shouldn't have been an either or. No. Like I hate that now. Like we need a player in every position, and people will go, "We'll sign a centre back." Someone will go. Yeah, but we really needed a striker. Yeah, no, yeah, we need yeah. everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's, there's, uh, he's been unlucky as well because, like, you didn't expect him to be injured for almost the entire season. Yeah, or, that's when you do go, oh, well, we could have just bought him for free. I know. It's like, not like you could have predicted that. You know what I mean? Oh, he's going to be injured all season, so we'll wait. Like, you didn't know that. Besides for it? Liverpool or Arsenal, which was a possibility, you'd have mm. been class because they're settled clubs. Yeah. It was or just one of them. I just feel like, man, he was a bit like. He was coming off the back of probably his worst season. I know it's Chelsea was a absolute bin fire, and also it just felt a bit like like you say, Mackie, like okay, if we get him and sort out other areas, great. How is he not giving that as a throw in? You fucking idiot! Seriously, Smith's just ran the ball out of play. Bloody hell! And these like yeah are playing heavy passes at the back, and we're not, we're just walking up to them. I know, I know. There's no energy, is there? Played Cobby. Bruno's on it today, you know. Pardon me. Nice. No, not. I thought that was a nice little dummy, but it wasn't. It was. Go on, Hoyland. Go on, lad. Hoyland yeah. just didn't read it. Go on, Ahmad. He's got a great. You see how he just. The ball was on his right foot then, but he kind of changed and used yeah. his left instead. He's got a great. Like, just a little touch. Come on, Diallo, bit of hero. Yeah, get us a two-all draw. <laughs> Mainu. Who's going in? That was penalty. Penalty. That's come out of the blue, mm. mate. What is going? How do we do? We're this? not getting this penalty. How, how Somehow we, this is a. How do we like? Not in the game at all, and then it's like, yeah, he can have a penalty or a he goal looks like or something. Really guilty, though, mate. He yeah. could look more guilty. He looks like one Basaka did against the Scousers. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone, hey, oh. hey. And then he go, oh, fuck. Then that. Oh, no. You know, because he went, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I love the reaction where he went. When he got, he went, oh, <laughs> oh no. It's it's. It's particularly It's almost harsh. like a dance move that I had to I don't, that. you know, if the ref don't give it, you don't get it. Mm. It's one of them ones, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like that happens a lot, you know. I the ref like, don't give it, think you don't like get it. The two Chelsea pens, I feel like. I think the Liverpool one as well. I do think it was a pen, though. I think the wan Nah, No, I've gone full turbo bit of me. I think none of them have been penalised. No. That was a pen. You can't dive in and not win the ball like yeah, that. Harvey Elliott was looking for it. You can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. You just Depending can't. they should have given us a penalty. No, he was looking for it. Should have been booked for that. He diving. won it. Yeah. yeah. But he Should have been sent off, mate. Once wan dived in. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, he's doing the head shake, the hand on it. Yeah. I was going to do the thing where I hide on that, but. I'm like, I know, I can't. Um, you know that meme of that guy with just loads of arrows in his chest? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Just 100,000 arrows. All with Manchester United players grubby DNA all over them. <laughs> I can't look. Come on, son. I, can't look, man. I hate it. <laughs> Come on, Bruno. Don't let me down. Bruno won't let you down. He won't. You know when you said you need a hero? Yeah. Bruno is Enrique Iglesias. <sighs> yeah. Has he got a mole? Come on, Bruno. He goes right, keeper goes left. Yes. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so clever. <laughs> he goes right, keeper goes left. I have nailed that. Oh, oh, thank you. Come on. How are we back in this game? It's a miracle. Yeah. But we'll take it. I can be your hero. Mm -hmm. Nah, that song's got ruined for me. Right, but what by coming out? That shitty Bad documentary. Memories. That was Harlan's initiation song. Oh, was it? Stop watching City things. I had to watch dick. it for work. Like you don't. Uh, you don't pretend you did, and then you make sure. <laughs> what you do is you read like a it. review like, on. Like, what was it like? Listen, so I slated them. You watch the clips that are on Twitter, yeah. so you can just refer to like. The mad thing was they admitted that they were guilty. I wound a lot practice. of City fans up though, yeah. so I think it was actually worth it because I pissed a lot of people off with my uh, take on it. Did you say this what? is a load of state-sponsored sports washing? 
PR. That's a load of crap. Treble my ass. The radio version of that, yeah. Yeah. Basically, like, you're on the overlap. <laughs> talk, about, talk about me on the overlap. OJ died. We did, didn't we? We discussed that And we'll never find out who the real killer was now. Because no. he was doing the investigation. Do you think the real killer will come and bring himself oh, forward? I don't remember that whole... How old, what oh, year was mate. that? 94, I think. Yeah, I don't remember that happening. No. It was so mad. And it was like, you go... Like, I remember like going My home. big case was Michael Jackson. Right, and okay. the doves getting released and that. Yeah, yeah. I released one as well. <gasps> yeah, um... Yeah, it was, it was, it was ridiculous. So it did was. OJ do it or not? Yeah, I think he did. You know what I found a bit Unless I've distasteful? Changed, go on. Go on. Uh, Here we go. I think it's going to be... Kim that? Kardashian's dad, Caitlyn. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, yeah, the stepdad. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off, you killed someone as well? Yeah. He, but then yeah. she's come Jeez, out and sorry. tweeted yeah. and explained why <laughs> you it's not the same. You're doing that Amir Khan. All right, Amir. Sorry. Really sorry. I wasn't Listen, referring to Caitlyn. That Amir Khan TMZ video. Honestly. Greatest why? video why ever. Why did anyone let him do that video? It's the greatest <laughs> video of all time. Yeah. And me and you watch it. Oh, we watch it. We watch it like at least once a month. Once a month, I'll, me or Jay will message you. It goes by... I'm just watching this again. I'm like, I've got to watch it now. So it's, it's I went up to Caitlyn there. I shook his hand. I mean, Caitlyn, I mean, him, I mean, no. I'm like, why do I stop talking? Stop the video. Let's not do this. It's making it worse. Honestly, horrendous. Yeah, no, Caitlyn Jenner. She was. She's really, doubled she, down on it though. Yeah, she was like, the difference is. I, you I know. know you all think it's cute to compare a fatal car accident with multiple vehicles involved to a capital's brutal murder, but remember, OJ said something to the effect of, "I could kill her and get away with it because I'm hashtag OJ Simpson." So yeah, well, she he ain't... said OJ Simpson said, "I'm hashtag OJ Simpson." Yeah, Allegedly, yeah. Why was he talking like that? <laughs> yeah. When there Before was no Twitter hashtag. was even yeah. a yeah. Hey. Come on, Caitlin. Oh, no! <sighs> no, I don't like none of them Kardashians. No, I don't. My skin crawl. It was Robert Kardashian helped him get off of it, wasn't it? Mm. Huh? Robert, Robert Kardashian. They the were lawyer. famous because they, they their dad was famous. a lawyer. Oh. OJ's Remember lawyer. Remember when Kanye OJ? did the weird hologram of her dad? Yeah. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, isn't that That's cute? cute? No, it's not oh, cute. Uh, no, or the guy that helps a murder. If a fella done that for you. Speak it, yeah, because like I, my dad passed away like nine years ago. If someone did that for me, I'd be like, you never met him. You didn't know him. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, how, how you got this footage of my dad? I'd be like. <laughs> Would you go to see like Tupac hologram live? Um, would you go watch a Man United 1919 live mm. hologram at Old Trafford? Probably. They should do that. Probably. They're missing a trick here. Mate, when I was a kid, I you used to... I think I would. You used to Especially go, Tupac, I would. You used, you used to go and watch um, United at Old Trafford uh, on a ways, and they'd drive a truck with a screen on at the pitch. I watched... That's what you used to do. Remember when Wan yeah, Matter scored the... Wanfield. Well, I watched that old tra inside Old Trafford. Ah, right. Really? I didn't know they did it as recently as that, because mm. I remember when I was a kid they used to do it. And it was like literally a truck on the pitch. It was mad. Mm. It was good. Because our fan camps for that man. game are outside Old oh, Trafford. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Bournemouth making a substitution. Who's the greatest player in the Premier League? It's you, you am one, 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 it's you, one, one. one. He was a weird guy, one, Matt, wasn't he? I love him. Weird signing out. I love him. And he was so, so good. But it was kind of like we bought him and didn't know what to do with him. Do you know what I mean? Like, he had, like didn't he have like 33 assists or something in his last season at Chelsea and won the Champions League or whatever? No, he was he was world class. No, he, yeah, he was. And then he's like, got so United and then he was like, we're going to play we... Juan Mata and Fellaini together. <laughs> What? It kind of epitomises the problems big? in Man United. Like so that summer alone should have told you, uh oh, we're in yeah. trouble. Yeah. It was when so you good. go, oh, let's get David Moyes and buy him Mata and Fellaini. <laughs> what? <laughs> None of this makes sense. <laughs> Be all right. Yeah. Be right. It's like, it doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, Harry Maguire, come on, kid. It's like saying, I'm going to make a song and I'm going to get. Who are you going to get? 50 cent and slipknot on it wait what <laughs> <laughs> what what tune is that i don't want to hear it <laughs> go on go on rap twat us. it play bruno you're so good bruno go on marcus oh, oh, oh. oh. oh shit. it's not happening 
Oh my kept running back though. Max Aaron's is on for Bournemouth. He was one of my favourite, like you know, the maddest transfers. Like he was getting linked like Barcelona when he was at Norwich. Yeah, yeah like yeah, it's like was, oh, Barcelona Defo gonna wanna. sign him. That was uh, one of my favourite delusional transfer rumours. It's like Gravison to Madrid, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that? Jonathan he had a, he had a really good season though. Yeah, because he was linked to United. Yeah, like, he did. To be fair. Like, he was amazing for Everton mm. that season. Woodgate uh, to Madrid. Madrid. He was yeah. good, he was. He was just injury prone. Yeah, he was, mm. wasn't he? Didn't he have like they just got have, like, the worst Beckham debut ever? Like, yeah. To Madrid, like, didn't he, like, yeah. sent off. Goals, sent off. <laughs> My favourite is, like, the Eric Dyers at Bayern Munich. Oh, mate, he's, like, oh, oh, yeah. We both had a stinker there, don't we? I feel sorry for Kane. Because, the like, mad where thing did, is, where though, did Eric like, Dyer start? Where did he start? He's, did he start? I know he was born in, like, he's brought up in Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, like, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Because, mm. like, you've seen that documentary with Josie where they're talking Portuguese to each other. Because mm. you look at Eric Dyer and you do not expect him to be talking Portuguese. <gasps> you don't anyway. expect him to have a second language. No. What it's like James Milner teaching himself Spanish and all that. I hope. Go on, Rasmus. Go on. Oh, oh, unlucky oh, son. Stuffy git. Look, James Milner, what? Ta- can speak Spanish. Really? There's so many Spanish speakers at Liverpool and he wanted to fit in. Oh, fuck off. And he still didn't fit in. Oh, boring twat. I know. He is a boring twat. I ate it in lockdown. When, when he was doing, doing all, all that shit with the tea boring. bags I'm, oh, and... I'm measuring how long the grass is. Yeah. Have a day off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but so he was shit. I yeah. hate all that fucking pretend funniness. He's just a wet mop. Also, it's though, full. Man. It's like pretending to be boring. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... You're not boring. No. Like, no, if no. you were just like really like that yeah mm. so, oh yeah I'm just like if he's like oh yeah I'm doing the gardening today alright that's actually mm. boring but it's, if you like I'm measuring the grass that's false I know it's like no, yeah because even people false. that are no into grass that. don't yeah. measure grass yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd want to see him papped at garden centres and shit <laughs> like do you know what I mean like that's when you know he's really boring and into his gardening you know, if we win today, I don't want to hear anyone talking about we are back in for a top four race. <laughs> I'll slapping everyone. I don't want to hear it, you know, Jay. Mm-mm, you don't better look not. At me. Don't look at me. I'm going right. to be watching all these titles on videos. I, I am not. There's no chance of us getting top five. I, I got mean, talked if, if, into if, top four discussion. This might not the even week. be thing anyway. Not we might not even get six. Yeah. Mm. I'm not. Don't I wouldn't me. mind sacking that off, though. Just get in the Conference League and let. Like. The under 18s play. Hey lads, you fancy a trip to Austria, Vienna? Because you're fucking going. Um, David Taylor says best moment of the season was when Maka tripped over celebrating a goal with Jay. <laughs> Absolute classic. Oh, you nearly broke your ankle, wasn't it? Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was the main yeah. one, wasn't it? Yeah. That was probably the highlight of the season, that goal. I oh, know, actually, sorry. This Diallo. But that, that's what I mean. It's like little bit, little moments. Mm. But overall, the season's been shy. That's what messes with your mind, though, because it's been like those little nuggets over there. Yeah. Like. Amongst Talking all the little shit. nuggets. Mm. <laughs> Baldy <laughs> Bouncer. <laughs> Baldy Bouncer. Just, just get on with it. It's not fucking tea and coffee break, mate. Like, yeah, are we all? Liverpool playing Crystal Palace again. They play them every week. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's not always. I think it's tomorrow. I think it's Super Sunday. I hope they get mm. battered. Arsenal Villa as well. Yeah, Palace is technically my local team in is London, it? so yeah, fingers crossed they do it. <clears throat> Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea getting around. Well, saying they look like they could cut, catch us, but it don't really matter anyway. I don't care. Mason Mount, don't get him on, man. Like Rabat Mount and Ericsson. Don't even look like he's close hey, to getting on. Does no. he? Sat there having a laugh with the yep. lads. Good that just week in week out you yeah. just get to sit there and have a bit of a laugh I felt I felt for him after that Chelsea game man oh, the booze were bad like that and Endo the, was it en, uh, he came was on it Enzo the, Fernandez know, Enzo man Enzo Dick Fernandez it. like sticking his face in him I thought yeah that, that was to the guy that won back to back players of the year in the I Champions know. League for your team and they were all loving it and that but Something like they were booing even when do. the ball was going near him like he hadn't even touched him at one point yeah. and they just started booing like it annoys me as well, like how Havertz is like doing well at Arsenal. And everyone's like, oh, look, great sign. And like, everyone, when he went there, was no. like, that was a waste of money. Werner and Havertz, those signings were just Verna, like. Werner. Oh. What's happened to that kid? 
Is he back in? Oh no. Played today. He, yeah, but he went back to yeah. the Bundesliga, didn't he? And then oh. went. To they were Spurs. talking coming at United at one point, weren't they? Yeah. And then he went to obviously. That'd have been Spurs. a very on-brand yeah. thing for us Bloody to do. Hell. There's talk of becoming United and United, don't be silly, we're not getting anyone in the January transfer window. Yeah, we sent Regulon back going, you know what, we're going to get a striker on loan. Yeah. And they were actually, nah. And now we haven't got a full back. He's not done anything there. He's just, he's just bought that. This guy's been doing my tits in all game. I know. McCola losing his shoe when Bruno scored a late winner against Fulham, says Ross Murphy. Oh, was that is that when you Is that when you slapped... Um, Scotty? I don't know, you know. That was last season, wasn't it? When Gan actually scored the winner. Don't call my name, don't call my name. I just really wanted this game to, you know, I'm going for a nice meal tonight. I wanted oh, to I have know. had a nice day. Don't worry and about that. And one of the people that I'm going to have the meal with is the City fan. Oh, right. I thought you were going to say it's a bomb if I'm No, it's the City, that. and I just like. Oh. Sound, sound like I, I just wanted to have had a nice, yeah. you know, I've watched a nice game and be able to have a nice meal. And no, just yeah, don't worry, just United will ruin that. Stick yeah. your fork through the jugular. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fully believes 115 charges. Like every City fan I speak to, like they, they are ask. proper, like these charges, are, it's, they're going to come out the other side of it. It's not real. Yeah. What's it be like a fine? It's like, look, they're done to get a fine. But I don't know if I've told you this, if, if it. If I could have a perfect world with it, yeah. I would want bailiff style <laughs> knocking on the doors, taking medals off them all. Yeah, like even go, go like going to Aguero's house. And be like, yeah. Excuse me, mate. Yeah. I think you got a few uh, medals there. Can we have them, please? And then we have one day at Old Trafford where we get our yes. and we melt them all into summer. Yeah, that'd be mint. Oh, you yeah, stuffy that, but I think that's what should happen. They should all of them should have to give the little medals back. I would like to see that. Right, come on. Just got no faith in anything happening with it all, even if they do get found guilty. Nah, nothing's happening there. That's what I mean. I just mm. think it'll be like, right, Mason Mount coming on for um, Cobby Mainu. Looks a little bit leggy for me, Cobby Mainu, last couple of games, man. How annoying as well, he scores against Brentford and we go and concede like twice. Oh, mate. Imagine that. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine that, like that week, he could have scored the winner against Brentford and then helped us beat Chelsea. I know. Perfect I know, week for him. I know. Instead, we're just fucking naked. Football and it's United, man. You did say a draw, Joe, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I said no, no. But. Draw. It draws a draw. Still it? take it, yeah. <laughs> mm. That's if it stays like this. Do you know how bad it was? When we was winning against Liverpool the other mm. day, I was thinking, this is going to end up as a draw at least now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just didn't have faith that we'd see it out. He just fell over there. Oh, I thought he was going to catch him. I thought he was going to get caught. I thought he was going to catch him, man. Get another penalty. We'll take that. Half of these Bournemouth players could walk past me in the street. I wouldn't know who the no, fuck yeah. they are. Will it come while I go in? Even the ones you know, you'd be like... Is oh. it... Um, is, it yeah. is that him? Is that him? Oh, oh you say, oh, don't he look like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Better? Is he off his tenders? What's going on here? Mm. What? Oh, suck out, Rick. Mason Mount just give us the old man. <laughs> Fucking that's, fringe. That's ridiculous, Get that. a load of you. That never... Do you never get them given? Ever. Fucking pussy, man. Right, he's got all the Hoyland shirt for starters. That's the foul he's given. Jesus Christ. Uh, he's looking for that. and he's Because Hoyland don't get that given as a penalty if he's, the geezer's holding him. Mm. So how's that a foul to them? Fucking silly. That's ridiculous, prick. that. Absolutely ridiculous. I swear, they just look for it. They look for anything they can do. To and you know, like, even when we win, we're shit, man. Oh, no. We're just shit, man. Proper shit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There's a stat for you. Oh, that is horrible, that. Last six Play, Bruno. Point, drop 
points dropped after eight schools. So beautiful, it's nine Portuguese points. man. I know. Oh, lucky. Mm. Like you say, even if we win this, it's still a shit game. Mm -hmm. oh, soft! Off. So soft! He's just waiting for that. He's waiting for a challenge to come in to throw himself to the floor and the referee buys it. Slowly competes as Ryan Christie is a good player. Sound. Uh, Who is he playing for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> he was going to try and come up with some of them, weren't you? Actually, we should sign him more. <laughs> Get Wheatley on for a Makeda moment, says Pig Riser. Who's Wheatley? Is he playing for us? Zach Wheatley. Yeah, that's the lad on the bench, isn't it? Is it Zach? The name is, isn't it? Get him on for a Makeda moment. Thing is, like, when Makeda came on, it was um, Ethan. Yeah, it right. was um, it was to win a title for us, not to get us a win against Bournemouth <laughs> that helps us stay sixth. Do you know what I mean? It's like, that's not oh, it's so soft. That's just nothing. He's just waiting to keep doing that, and the referee keeps giving it. As soon as any contact, the Bournemouth player goes down. He gets a foul. Bruno's everywhere. That front pass. Yeah, it's decent now. <sighs> Touch. Touch. Oh, Touch. it was unlucky there. Boom, going down that left hand side. Cut out by Kambuala. It's just a tough watch every week, man. It really is. It's annoying. Ethan to cheer us up so it's 84th minute now you've lost 7 points from his position in the last 3 minutes oh matches. what are you doing now Diallo cheers cheers Eve. <laughs> let's have a look at what you could have won <laughs> so bad that innit like you saying so many last minute goals man fucking don't call my name don't call my name oh, look how that's just bounced off his shin and fell there could have gone anywhere that. Bruno's the only one that tries. Oh my tries, god. Tries, 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 tries. God, he tries. can't shoot. Bless you. Thank you. She's allergic to this shite. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, I'm allergic. Pirates can't even fix that. Too right. Oh my god. Bloody hell, man. He's a hospital boy. I know Big why. Willy. What are you doing there? How's your touch, son? Fucking hell. It's like our players hate each other. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, how's your touch, prick? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, look at this big <laughs> fucking dosser. Who do you think hates each other the most? Big stiff idiots, man. Oh, my God. I reckon... I don't know, man. I'm not sure. I think... Yeah, uh, who hates each other yeah, the most? Yeah, who hates each other the most? I reckon um, like Maguire and Anana hate each other. Do Yeah. And I think most people don't... You diving bastard, he's giving it? No. Oh. Book him, then. Fuck off, little grass. What about the first half, ref? What about first half? I love the arrow. Oh, getting involved. Yeah. Go on, son. Tit. Get right in there with what him. What about the first half, oh, ref? Yeah. Boring, boring prick. Oh, there's Ryan Christie. Dead end. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he was on the pitch. It was him who's died. <laughs> I didn't want to say. I assumed he was a Bournemouth player, but I didn't know. Oh, he's exactly. looking for that. That's pathetic, that. Cheeky. No. Well done. Well edited. <laughs> hey, well edited. <laughs> hey. Ryan Christie's got five bookings now. He plays for Scotland, in case you were wondering. Or oh, he's Scottish. I don't know if he plays for McClint's Island. Man, he's getting the team. He's a disgrace to Scotland. That's yeah. what he is. He's no Scott McSomney. <laughs> put it that way. Yeah. I've seen him complete two passes today, so he's definitely <laughs> got Okay, now. Go on, Maguire. It's like, yeah, I know it's, we keep saying the same thing, but it's genuine, like, it just met this morning. Yeah. He's like a pig in muck there, just fucking... Editing. He's loving that, Maguire, isn't he? Yeah. Hey. It's all he wants. Just Who keep doing that. Let's keep That's why he's uh, destined for Burnley. <laughs> And hopefully it's there soon. Play Bruno. Play Casemiro. Casemiro. Go on, lad. Go on. something useful. Oh, it's a bit wide. Oh, that's just a bit much on that, man. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's a good ball, isn't that? Play. Touch Casemiro. Oh! Oh! Imagine Fuck Casemiro. Sake. There's a winner here again. Casemiro did well there, but he's just like, should have got a shot away. Though. Yeah, he should have. At one point, it looked like he was going <sighs> to. Fucking hell, Aaron. Go on. Oh, do you know what? I honestly thought he was going to bang that right in top bins then. <laughs> Bruno does. No, yeah. I thought he's going to lever this right into the back of the net, but no. Oh dear, yeah. Okay, no, oh, never mind, the Arlo lad. Keep going, son. Yeah. Keep going. Your next one might hit the fucking. <laughs> might actually go into the stands. <laughs> Played. It's good hold up play by Rasmus. Hey! No, oh. no, nah, he didn't even claim it, did he? No. Wasn't Rasmus down something in uni? Um, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, some Erasmus. Oh, that was Erasmus. it. Yeah. It was like going abroad in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some sort of it's set it learning off, no. thing. If they yeah, but I did Erasmus. Yeah. Oh, did you? Erasmus Hoyland. Yeah, it was great. You got to go live abroad and do like minimal work and get really? paid a really. Is Brexit done to that? Yeah, yeah, you can't do Brexit. it. Brexit, bastards. Hey, works out well, hasn't it? Yeah, just, just ruin the whole country. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, well done, ref. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp up top there. <laughs> hey. I don't know what that's for, but we'll take it. Let's have a look here. I mean. Okay. Yeah, great. We'll take it. Yeah. Good work. <sighs> don't call my name. Don't call my name. Maguire. The ball at the top show. there. Marcus. Casemiro. Ganacho. Oh, he's never getting there, lad. Wambasaka disguised his pass so much, even Casemiro didn't know it was coming. Oh, fuck off. Thank you, ref. That was soft if he would have given that. Oh, played. Played. <gasps> goal kick. 
Oh, he's six minutes. Fucking hurt. Six minutes of added time. Who's he booking now? Books. Wan Bissaka for that. You're taking the piss. Oh, has he bought the keeper? For, oh, he's bought oh, the yeah. keeper for descent. He just called him a puta. Yeah. Mm. Is that Portuguese? What's that mean? What's it mean? Puta. Uh, we can say everything apart from the C word, can't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, bitch. No. Oh, sick. He used to play for uh, Barcelona, Neto. He was their like, second keeper at one point, I think. How, how, by the way, has, is that not our ball? And I don't how know. is that a foul? I don't know what he's given there. A goal kick? Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. And the keeper's I don't know what mad has that they've got the decision. For, yeah. There's literally nothing there to indicate a goal kick. He's got a goal kick and he's gone berserk anyway. Because mm. presumably he wanted a foul, which it never was. Games in it, man. As as always is with United. It's one of those days, one of those games, one of those seasons, one of those decades. <sighs> Come on, man! Bloody hell! the hope that kills you that's it why is, I have no hope it's like me and you chat before it's like when you see Spurs getting battered this morning you think it doesn't matter mm. or this afternoon it just, just doesn't make any difference to not so ever. I always no. give a corner on it he looks knackered he, does, he looked, to be fair Casemiro looked like that in the first minute yeah he was like absolutely goosed he looked like that first minute of his first game <laughs> of the season <laughs> Oh, Johnny Depp's going to score, watch. Don't. <laughs> watch. Young Johnny Depp. Ooh. Bloody hell. You have to be right there with the low, with that. I felt like he didn't have to touch it. Well, let's have a look. I oh, think that may kid, maybe kid that the bat post probably better safe than sorry. I just think that's so fast that gears are not doing anything. Uh, I mean, there's only one team looking here for a winner. Corner for Bournemouth again. No, it's not Man United. Don't come running, don't come running. Can I choose? It's a goal kick. Yeah, that was a Stonewall goal kick. Called you a prick ref, you got a booking for that. I know. Twice, actually. Yeah. Twice. Called you a prick. Yeah, he I mean, he's right. got a point. He'd be fair. scoring if that didn't <laughs> hit Rashford. <laughs> oh, what a shit game. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> smash it. <laughs> Shit. Honestly, it's like watching fucking non-league, mm. isn't it? It's Listen, I've been to some non-league games this season. They've been better. Oh, we are. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake! A penalty to Bournemouth mm. in the last minute, of course. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> we are so so shit. Honestly, this is boy Ryan Christie. Fuck, who's Ryan Christie, oh, the player? Fuck off. Hey. Just the boldness on the bench, and it? Just doing fuck all, all of them. Just being bold. That's outside it's the outside box. outside the area. It's outside the area for starters. The only one in the box there is uh, Big Willie. It's outside the box. It's not a penalty. It's never a penalty. I think that's outside the box, you know. It's never a penalty. It's not a penalty. Yeah, I think I think he's and it's not a fucking not a penalty anyway. No, Willie Kambala's on the line, but the foul is yeah. is front foot, which is. This Adam Smith's a f is his name Adam Alan Smith. He's a fucking idiot. 
Just give him a penalty, ref. Fuck it all off, man. Just fuck it. Just add him more minutes to, to this lose torture. Anyway. They deserve to lose, man. The only ones that don't deserve this is the away fans. Yep. Everyone else, fuck you, luck, man. You deserve to lose. <sighs> Shit, man. Big Willie's had a disaster today. <laughs> I, know, I feel Absolute for the kids. Big Willie's had a right cock up. Hey. Hey. Nice. Ten hours gonna go to him. Your cock up. My arse. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's such a good. If you deliver that right, it's so good. Hey. Do you know what I hate all this? Because I, I, I'm just at the point now. I don't care. Don't care. You just want don't the game care. to finish I just now. Want anyone but David Moyes. Like yeah. Just if, if it's a point, a point or a loss, now. it doesn't yeah. make any difference really, does it? No. We're just we're just shit. And it doesn't do us any good. We're not getting... Are they checking whether it's actually a foul? Or just the place, position of it? Because it says, checking penalty, foul. It's outside the box, you fucking dick. Free kick. Free kick. Free They're going to score it anyway. Free kick. Watch, yeah, watch him just bang it in from there. Yeah. Just step up, box. Is it Ryan Christie? Top Basically bins. a free kick anyway. Basically yeah. a penalty anyway. Yeah. Watch this. So that's I feel another. sorry for Kumbwala because he had all that hype about oh, the no. Liverpool game. And then he's, just he's had a bit now. of a nightmare today, to, to be fair, the kid. He shouldn't be playing for the first No, team, he man. shouldn't. That's the whole point. That's yeah. not criticism of no, him. No, 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 it's not. He's that's got he's 12 injuries. He's not at the, the level to be playing Premier League It's not like Kobe Maino where he's just forced himself into the team. No. This is slim pickings and he's got yeah. it. It's seven of um, He's, he's playing next to the fellow we tried to get rid of. <laughs> Unfortunately, unsuccessfully. Mr. Hoss says, sad no Irish players at United other than Evans. Uh, Matthew Coward has been a member of the academy for 40 months. Says, you're doing that our season, season's over silence again, guys. Sorry. What else you want me to do? Darren Ray says, do you think Tanag deserves another season considering we've been this bad since the Wolves' first game with no improvement in style results all season? I don't know, you know. I find it hard. I just think it's a case of you bring it in. Yeah, it's more difficult every game to defend. You shouldn't it. keep someone just because you you don't like the options that are available but that's mm. not me saying you should get rid of him either yeah. I'm torn on it I'm with you my car. I can't does a name spring to mind if he was to be gone Nagel's man mm. I don't think we get him yeah Bournemouth with a free kick here 97th minute and it's a corner no in our look I'm surprised someone in the ward didn't just slap it yeah go, oh, you it. want that penalty do you just punch it straight <laughs> <laughs> there you <laughs> go here's that penalty yeah. for you hey, you're, that's you. you're welcome I go, oh, I don't <laughs> yeah no. we're going to be happy with the Desmond against Bournemouth lads. it's so so good isn't it we're so good I love this you know what could you know what would cheer me up right now what just hit some heroin or something yeah just, just, just get off the rails completely. Go on. Just become a crackhead or a smackhead. See how that does for a bit. Because this watching United Malarkey is just not doing it for me at the moment. I need an escape. Go on. Bit of crack for the lads. Whip it. Go on, Mason. Shoot. Blow the whistle, ref, man. We don't care if it's... <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, dumb and dumber. It's over. <sighs> Two all, Manchester United drawing with Bournemouth in a result that doesn't do anything for us whatsoever, to be honest with you. And it's another game we haven't won. What was that one winning out of seven nine in the Premier League? Pretty abysmal, to be honest with you. Twice going behind. Was it twice went behind and came back to oh, win no. draw two all? But I, I'm struggling to take any positives from it, to be honest with you. And just quickly. Um, no, same. No, no positives. The same. It feels like Groundhog Day watching the same players not perform, not give enough, the same tactics that don't seem to work, us not taking our opportunities when we get them. And yeah, you, you're almost not surprised. You're, you're actually surprised that Bournemouth didn't manage to win the game. Um, yeah. Seventh we are now, down at seventh. Fantastic, Maka. Dizzy heights of seventh. Yeah, we deserve everything we get. We're crap. 
True. Uh, stick around. This link, or staying on this stream, will send you to the post-match review. We're going to do a bit of a live review, so stick around for that. But yeah, Manchester United drawing at the Vitality. Just doesn't do anything for anyone. Seventh in the table. One win in seven. It's just been a really, really difficult spell for Manchester United. And the press is still going to be on Eric Ten Hag. That's been Adam McCullough. That's been Angelina Kelly. I'm Jay Motti. This has been a watch-along for Bournemouth game. Stick around. Thanks for watching.